The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex. And more sex. Are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. All right, welcome to the podcast as we start off another brand new week of this show. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two brought to you by Globe. My name is Mo, phone number 478-7954. You can catch us on Skype, the Good Times podcast, even text us, 0927-214-1981. Sometimes we'll even read off your Ask FM questions, so you can do that at uh, DJ Mo Twister and at Bianca underscore Valerio. Speaking of her, here she is. Good evening, Bianca. Hi. What's up? Hi. Hi, everybody. I missed everyone over the weekend. It's been so long. What do you do over the weekend, Bianca? What, what is it? weekends like for you um i stayed home i love staying home um but uh home uh meant like i wrote a lot of articles did a lot of writing uh did some ask fm questions and i actually finally watched breaking bad because i see all these posts on twitter lie, on bitch. facebook about like yeah is there like Science, um, an bitch. online con what, what do you call that um what do you call that group like when you're, well, let's say you're an Alcoholics Anonymous or you want like comfort. A support group. A support group. Is there like a support group for Breaking Bad? And I'm thinking, why? Like, I don't get it. And yeah. Because but it I've, ended. Yeah, yeah but well, I've, I'm only in the first season. But it, I admit it started off slow and then eventually it kind of got pretty exciting, got to say. You know, since since I've left the Philippines, yeah. uh, I've found myself with uh, a, a lot of time to be able to watch TV shows. I used to never watch television because I never had the time to watch television. Yeah. I've had other things, uh, you know, fucking work. Uh, being on television never gives you the time to watch it. But uh, when I've had a lot more time with just doing the radio show and the podcast and stuff, yeah. boy, I've been all over TV shows now. Aside from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones was the only one I was watching when I was still in the Philippines. Aside from that, never really picked up anything else. But there, there's some good stuff out there. And Breaking Bad is awesome. Unfortunately, it's come to an end. But if you that's the first time you've seen it, there are it is, a ton out is. there. Homeland is excellent. If you like the political terrorist kind of thing. Um, House of Cards is fantastic. It's another political one. That one's with Kevin Spacey. That They're only in season one. That finished up. Season two should show, you know, maybe early next year. But House of Cards is great. Uh, what are your guilty pleasures? Like, what? what is a guilty I'm not guilty. Pleasure? I fucking love them. What? what? Like, guilty pleasures. Like, what do you watch? Like, me, my favorite was, what's that show of the, the, play, the girls of the Playboy Mansion? Of like Holly. Oh, see, I, no, 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 yeah, I don't watch any of that shit. Yeah, like I mean that's, that was my guilty pleasure. Yeah. Fucking, um, what's the one? Uh, Sharon. What show was that? Um, um, um the Osbournes. Uh, Osbournes. I don't watch any of that shit. Okay. I don't waste my time. And reality shows. Don't watch any of them either. Um, no contest. Yeah. No, like The Voice or whatever. No, I don't, don't watch, watch those. Yeah. I, I'm into the again. So if I was gonna line up the shows that I think, have you seen Homeland? No, um, weird Excellent. enough, I actually kind of saw an episode today. Um, it's not really my, I'm not very into the whole political thing. I'm more in crime, not, um, psychological really? thrillers. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. then psychological, you, you, please tell me you've seen the greatest show of all time, which is Dexter. I've seen, no, I haven't. Okay, <laughs> You're thinking Dexter. why? My Stop. favorite is Criminal Minds. Dexter's Criminal story. Minds is oh, my favorite, favorite show. Fucking waste time. Dexter. Watch <laughs> Dexter. Greatest TV show ever. Yeah. Better than Thrones, 
better than them all. It's fucking amazing. I fucking love me some Dexter. I like I all like right. a shows that you can pretty much say like it could be real, it could happen. So I'm because my favorite channel oh, well, is Crime and Investigation Network. So then you're not gonna watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, I know you're that's why. Not watch Dexter, like, and you're I likely mean, not gonna watch. Yeah. You're not gonna finish Breaking Bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all of those are all kind of. There are so much, so much. Of, it's a, it's a, a lot of it's such bullshit, but it's good entertainment. I mean, I like and, and Lord the, of the Rings. <laughs> but, I mean, it has a happy ending, but you know, do so. Homeland. You're gonna trust me. You, you'll, you're gonna like Homeland. It's it's an excellent, excellent program. Okay. Um, uh, we'll all right, do. but let's. Let's get to some of these calls. Four seven eight seven nine five four. Skype the Good Times podcast. You can text us zero nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. Let's start with uh, Maggie here. Maggie, you are twenty years old in Davao on line six. Hi, Maggie. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hi, Maggie. Up, Thanks baby? for staying on the line. So so patient. Yeah, you've been on hold for a long time. Yeah. What's up, sweetheart? Yeah. How can we help you? Um. Yeah. Um. My boyfriend and I are uh, almost five years together, and Eesh. so. Um, uh, sex is an issue, and um, well, yeah. Basically, he wants it. He wants to do it, and uh, I don't. <laughs> Have That's you done it. it before, or is this like? He's kind of okay. I, we, we've been together since we were fifteen. I think it's time to have sex. Or yeah. you've had sex. He just wants more of it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Sorry. Do, do you have you had sex before? I uh, no no no. So this is the first time, if ever. Yeah yeah. <laughs> okay. So your problem well, is you just feel pressured because you're not ready to have sex yet. Um, yes. Okay. When do you want to have sex? Uh, well, basically, I'm I'm leaving the marriage before sex principle. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. And he knows this. Uh yeah. Okay. Are you okay with your boyfriend breaking up with you because of this? Good question. Mm, definitely no. Well, he's gonna do it. And the thing is, I don't want you to have sex with him just so you can keep him. That's yes. even worse. Yes. Like, if yeah, your boyfriend sure. breaks up with you because you're not having sex with him, the only thing worse than that is having sex with him so he doesn't break up with you. You got to do it That's on your terms. That's the worst thing to do. Yeah, you yeah. got to do it on your terms. Because you're not going to yeah. marry this guy. There's no way you can marry him if you were together at 15. Zero. <laughs> okay, no, not zero. One percent. And that's not good enough for you to guide your life through. So do not fucking have sex with him if you don't want to. And if he breaks actually, up with you, then yeah. fine. Um, actually, we broke up. Uh, I think twice because of because of that. Yeah. Well, but then, there you then go. he comes back to you. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. He's gonna. He's likely gonna break up with you if you if you still hold your stand, which is I'm not gonna have sex till we get. He'll probably either he'll break up with you or he'll cheat on you because. I mean, if he's really excited about having sex and he's really pressuring you constantly, he's going to eventually do it. I mean, in my... Do you, do you guys do any kind of sexual activity? Do you give him hand jobs, blow jobs, any of those things? Um, um, making out, that's all. <laughs> that's it. Well, I'm sorry. What What it's is your crowd. definition of making out? I mean, just like heavy kissing, just French kissing, and that's it? Yes, yes. Oh wow, baby, you're amazing! <laughs> you, I, I, yeah, I know right. your self control. And, and, and if you're if you're twenty and he's twenty, I mean, like when he's fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, there's a lot of hormones raging, and he wants to fuck. But yeah. he, you know, he'll get he'll get off with masturbating, and that's fine. When you're twenty, twenty one, twenty two, you need to fuck now. I mean, it's like okay, all right, we gotta we gotta fuck already. So, um, my thing is, it's gonna get progressively more difficult for him to not cheat on yeah. you or not pressure you so you have to be yeah. able to kind of wrap your mind around him eventually either breaking up with you uh or cheating on you because of your stand but you know it is your stand and your stand is more important than his horniness yeah. yes yes Thank so you. you can decide to have sex with him if you want to but you have to want to 
If you don't want to, then it's going to be the no biggest way. regret of your life. It's it's you know giving up your virginity. It's not even like buying a house or getting married it, because a lot of those things can happen more than once. This is a one-time thing, and you want it to be on your terms. You want it to be like you know something that you don't regret. We can't promise it's going to be the most amazing experience because more often than not, <laughs> sometimes you know when it's the first time, it's like k- kissing for the first time. Sometimes it just doesn't doesn't work out that way where you're like it's it's not like in the movies sometimes you got to get each other's rhythm it may not be the most fantastic but it's still special in its own way and that's how you and that's how it should be and you want it to be so yeah don't give it up just because you're worried of losing this guy what you, you have is so precious Bianca, yeah. you ever lose a boyfriend who um wanted to have sex with you and you said no and then he just kind of left or have you ever broken up with a boyfriend cuz they didn't want to have sex yet. I mean, ever. ever no, no. I mean, I've I haven't been that. I haven't been in that situation. I haven't been in that situation. I'm I mean, to think if I when when I did it, like I I was ready. Yeah. It wasn't like a, it was a mutual thing. It wasn't that. Oh my god, I'm so I. Well, I ha- no. Sorry, I'll rephrase. I was 16 years old. I'll, I'll rephrase. I was 16 years old, and I had like those puppy loves, right? And then he, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna do it with him, so he broke up with me on Christmas Day. Quite lovely. He broke up with me on Christmas Day, and this is such a sweet story because I found out that he cheated on me with a girl, and her name was Afling. No, I, I'm serious. Like, her name was A Fling. Like, A Fling. Oh, oh, oh A Fling. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> no, like, that was her name, A Fling. So, the irony of sure. it all. Yeah, he broke up with me because I didn't want to have sex with him. And you know what? I'm okay with it. I, I was okay. I cried. I really, really cried. I felt bad. And I had, a, you know, I had some doubts about myself. Like, oh, my God, am I so whatever? Like, you, well, Give me a day you don't have doubts about yourself. Oh, all the time because I'm always striving to I mean. be better, right? For sure, <laughs> man. Yeah, I got issues more right. than Vogue. Yeah. For all sure. right. Um, what's this? Who's this girl again? Uh, Maggie. Maggie, you're fine. Uh, listen, again, just don't just don't have sex with them if you don't want to. If you do, God bless you and enjoy it. it, it either I'm way, I'm so proud of you, you, and I love it. I love it. Right. I love it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Love. Have a good one. Bye bye. All right, we got a lot of questions. A lot of broken-hearted people questions here. I'm, I'm looking at it. Yeah. It's the best way to move on from heartbreaks. Um, and it's hard because the holiday season is coming up. So, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I want to snuggle up with someone but don't want to get into a relationship or they want a relationship because it's Christmas or whatnot. Yeah, it's a little Really? Is that, is, that, is that right? I mean, like, because of no, there Christmas are a lot season, of I'm getting a lot, get a lot of more... stuff on Ask FM about, like, the holidays are coming and, and you know, I'm used to spending it with someone and there is another another one was like the holiday the holidays are here and you know everyone usually goes to um goes to these parties with a special someone i mean a lot of people feel like they need to be with someone at times like this i don't Fair think enough. it's i don't think it's true but yeah there are people who feel that way let's go to line 5 and talk to sophia 28 years old in makati hi sophia welcome to the show hello sophia? yes hi Excuse sophia me. what's up baby there you go. Yeah. Put that you volume go. a little louder. Yeah, you're 28 in Makati. How can we help you? Yeah, I just want to ask, uh, which is the best position for a guy aside from doggy and the woman on top? Best position. Oh man, like, it, it, that's a relative. Guy? The, okay, the yeah. question is so relative. Like, which guys, which position do guys most enjoy? I mean, I don't think there's one single position. I mean, I, again, I personally like girl on top. It, it's my favorite. Fucking girl on top is awesome for me. And if if I can have girl on top every single day of my life, then I'll then I'm fine with that. Like I don't I don't ever have to get um fucking creative and stuff like that. It's my favorite one, hands down. Now, but that's just me, uh, Sophia. I mean, there's certain like I know in surveys, girls have said the majority of women like doggy style the be- the most. I, yeah. I, but, I, mean, know, I don't know if that's true or if not. I, if I may, I mean, it also depends, like, if, if we're going to be more specific, because sometimes, like, you know, when you're with someone, there are days you just want to fuck. You know, there are days you want to, whatever, make love. And there are days you, they, they, I mean, guys 
again, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but we all have sex sometimes depending on how we're feeling. So if um if it's about like just really carnal, I missionary I think would be the least like of of would be the least whatever exciting or at least carnal. But um, but for me that's the most intimate. You know, you can look into each other's eyes, blah blah blah. And then um, when you're thinking of the girl on top, for the guy it's more visual because he can really see the woman move. So it gets him really horny. When it comes to being um, from the yeah. back, it's just really more raunchy. So it really depends what you're going for more than just physical pleasure. Here's my thing: if I'm if I'm say having sex with someone I I don't really like that much, I'll go missionary because then you know I can kind of just like put my head to the side and not really stare. I would at them think too much. actually from behind because you don't need to see their face. Period. <laughs> right? Yeah, you but there's. The missionary position that should be the the girl that you really like. So yeah, because no, 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 you're no, no, no. like girl, it's in listen, your face. No, see, the problem is you guys don't you, you guys don't fuck hot chicks. When <laughs> when you're having sex with a hot chick, you want them on top. Like that's the girl you like because you want to see everything. You want to see boobs. You want to see you want to yeah. see them. You want to see your your dick go inside. You know, some, when you're when you're in the um mm-hmm. when you're in the missionary position, you can't really see your dick going inside her because unless you kind of kind yeah, of, it depends. Like, yeah, it depends. Stand, still, like, kind of stand feel. up. Yeah, but feeling is it's it's again it's different. It all feels the same, but when you really like someone, you change the position up. I, I think it, it. I think, to be honest, the level of mal- the, the how much you like someone dictates the positions you're going to be. Yes, I believe that's exactly but, it. How you feel, how you feel, how you're feeling at that moment, whether emotionally really, or physically, really how, how like you feel you, about the person. Out. Yeah, it has so many components. So your question is a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say vague, but it's too general. Like you no, have to I, be no, more specific. No, no, no. Yeah, you know the thing is, you're you're answering the question. You're like, okay, aside from doggy and aside mm-hmm. from girl on top, what else do guys like? I think guys like all. Yeah, sex but for you, more, at I that mean, point, for a guy's point of view, which is the most exciting, aside from those, because those it's two are, relative. I mean, for me, it's, it's the best position. But then uh, it, it's so relative. It, it, yeah. It's relative, uh, Sophie, because every guy's really different. Like I don't enjoy doggy style. I'm very. I would rarely ever go to it. It's not a go-to for me. Like, I, I, I mean, I've done really? it many, many, many times, but it's not a go-to move. It I, also I like depends the on, on the penis size. It also depends on Here the size Here, of no, the no, no. girl, right? Here's what, I, here's what I enjoy more, aside from doggy style, reverse cowgirl. That I like way more than doggy style. And if you're into porn, it's a milder this is version your move. of that. Yeah. No, it's even. I think it's more aggressive because when you're really? okay. Here, here, yes, I'll tell you. I'll tell you something about doggy style. When you're doggy styling a girl, fine, you can. Let me let me start all over because I'm all over the place here. I apologize. <laughs> what guys want to do, Sophia, Bianca, is they want to see their dick go inside you. Like they yes. want to see it. They want to see the fucking penetration part. Like it's porn, right? Mm-hmm. Now, if you're doing doggy style, you can see it, it kind of the back part. Like I can see the back part of your vagina, kind of like you know when I, you know when we're pumping and I do the exit part of the pumping. Yes. Parts of your vagina kind of are visually like I could see it. Are peaking. Re- yeah. Are peaking. Reverse mm-hmm. cowgirl is the greatest visual. If you if okay, you into, if you're fair. into that. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, could the reverse cowgirl, if you, if you are into the whole, I want to see my dick go inside you, there's nothing better than reverse cowgirl. It's the most graphic, raunchy position, and it's a great, great position to be in. The only other one that I suggest that I've used many times and I really like is um, when you're in the bathroom and the girl's on top of the, like, <laughs> see, the problem is that my bathroom has a very large... Uh, the no, toilet, the, the, the sink. I have a very large sink, like a really long fucking seven foot, eight foot, ten foot sink or whatever. Wow. So you can actually have sex on the sink and still have plenty of room to yeah, move around. Sex in the sink is very good. Yeah, I agree. Right. So girl, I love girl you. On top, when you put the girl on top of the that, the that little fuck, I don't know what it's called. Not the sink, but that marble or whatever the fuck it is. And you can have sex like that where you can see your dick going inside her but face to face. That's yes. a good move. Yeah, or like on an office yeah. table, a table or yeah, office it's table. all about anything good kind of where you height, can elevate right? the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Actually sex in the sink and in the in the dining table is almost the same, but it's more exciting in the sink because you know, you'll have uh, a little bit of hard 
Sorry, there's I'm mirrors and you need good balance. You're, so you're flexing. Yeah, yeah, your excited, abs yeah. look good. Yeah. Your thighs look good. You can come on her, good. then you can jump on the shower right away. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of good things you can do. It's dangerous to have sex in the bathroom. Here's one thing that's overrated. Sex in the shower. Sex oh. in the shower sucks. <laughs> It's or in awful. a pool. Like a yeah, lot of a people pool. like have told me that sex in a pool is very because you're wet, but you're wet from water. It's not right. wet like from vaginal. And it it, it ends up drying out a lot quicker. I think it hurts yeah, the, the, I don't know. Does it hurt cool. for the guy? I, I know it hurts. No, the I girl. always assumed it might have hurt for the girl. But for the guy, no. I mean we we'll still take shit. I'll take sex in the shower. If you're still gonna fuck me in the shower, I'm gonna take you on the upper you know, I don't wanna waste the opportunity, but <laughs> I, I don't think, think it's as. Uh, I think it's very untidy. Yeah, it's and gross because you're pumping in chlorine yeah. into her vagina. For and sure. Not, Poor you girl. You don't even know if there's any urine on that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I totally agree so, with you. Especially sex on the beach. I mean, if you want to do it on the sand, yeah. I'm all for it. Just put a mat because you don't want yeah. literal crabs crawling on you. But in, in salt water, I mean, it may look great in Blue Lagoon and in Long lost but baby you are pumping in especially to the girl's vagina like you're pumping in waste like stop right, that it's shouldn't the same be thing there. Is, like, say, having sex in a club bathroom i mean is there a filthier place to do that that's, that's fucking filthy okay but, but i i, I wouldn't I mean, know i've it never yeah. tried <laughs> yeah but, but just in case it, girls girls yeah. guys they in fact do it all yeah. right sophia thanks for the call i'm glad you you so you're a big fan of doggy it's true. Girls like the yeah, doggy style. Yeah, and woman on top. And Ooh. on the sofa is good also. <laughs> well, can, Girl, how, more how power you to this? your back yeah. chai. You're amazeballs. <laughs> so, so for, what, what's the big deal about doggy style in girls? Why do you guys like it so much? Are you I asking know, me or for, asking her? Well, both of you. It, okay, it's you go first. It's one of the most popular uh, selections for females. But for me, for me, it really, it really feels good. I mean, the, the way you... The way I don't know, but uh, while we're doing it, really feels good. <laughs> now, now, I can mean, a girl uh, initiate doggy style? Like, I, but I, I feel like I it's think, it's one of those it's things. A, na na a, but the guy has to do it. I, no, I, I mean, no. If uh, it is a doggy, I mean, uh, I think uh, uh, the more that the guy could uh, reach inside me. Oh, because it uh, goes okay. in deeper. So yeah, you it like it because deeper. it goes in deeper. Oh, okay, that's, that's very right. fair. Then, yes. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, I, also, yeah. I also, I also, <laughs> unless if it's a giant also black feel man, challenged a bit because if uh, if I'm on that position, like uh, I need to maintain my strength, not to be you know easily. Um, I mean, not easily out of that. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I wanna ask, here's a question I want to ask: Are girls can girls request doggy style when we're in bed? Of course. Like I have a feeling. Really? It's like, baby, you do you well, feel not like in those words. slutty? You don't you... make it a verb. Like Can you that. doggy me? <laughs> I don't think you How do you do it? Okay, well, for example, Sophia, you and I are... You... <laughs> okay, yeah, Sophia, no, 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 Sophia how, how would you do it? No, no, like, no, 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 let's no, no, say you're Sophia, having sex with Mo. Okay, you and I are having sex. You're a girl on top right now, but you want to move to doggy because you don't feel like I'm big enough for you. <laughs> so how are you, <clears throat> you going like, to tell it to me, like, babe, from behind the, or oh, how, how does it work? Yeah, how would you do it? Like, for example, we're on missionary, then I will really tell you, love, I want doggy. Can we please do it now? Oh, how sweet, Naman. <laughs> you you, the you, make it, you shouldn't the say bedroom. doggy. So, you should say puppy because you say it's so, so sweet. So, Mo, if you were the guy, you cannot, you cannot refuse, right? <laughs> of course, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not going to refuse sex in the shower. I don't want to do it, but also, I won't refuse it. My thing is, how do you get? How does a girl request for it? Because I feel like it's such an aggressive position, you know that. You and can because say I'm not it a big in a fan. sweet way. I think how Sometimes she did I, it was really sweet. Yeah. I I say yeah. I generally say, hey, you want to do it from behind. And I don't even like to say doggy example, style because doggy style. It's so, it. You can yeah. also just position and then yeah, that's just do it with body with, language with and he'll get the yeah. hint. Yeah. I'm if I'm on that, or you can right. just say fuck me from behind. Just do it. Yeah, right? I say I say fuck you from behind. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't say I the word say fuck. Doggy. But I'll say doggy. You don't say doggy, man. Like yeah. I, I remember. I remember the first time my girl said "fuck me" and it shocked me. Like I, I fucking did it turn I like, you what? on, or it like shocked you? Like no, it power. didn't. It didn't turn me on at all. I was like almost. It, I was almost offended. I was like, "What? Fuck <laughs> are you me? Serious? You're my girl. I love you. What are you talking about?" And she's like, "I want to fuck you so bad." I'm like, "What? 
Take that back. It's so it's like I'm so You're so I, cute. I'm not, should I'm not feel, you talk. should feel good on that, Mo. I know, I know. I'm just being a pussy. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Sophia. he is enjoy, he is gay. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy your night. Enjoy your sex. Safe sex. I love it. Thanks, baby. She's amazing. Love. I know she's like love I'd really love it if you doggy me please like that is the sweetest please. way of saying you, I want you to pump you come me on hard my tits, please, baby. can you come on my tits please take it a break back after this we got a lot of calls tonight don't go away stay tuned we'll return after this commercial break We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malay na rin ang narating namin, malamig na rin kami na puntahan. So it's really important to get connected. For the scary and sweet is at SM Supermalls. The SM Three Day Sale happens on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. SM Three Day Sale. Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM Three Day Sale. The SM Three Day Sale on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. See posters or print ads for details. Per detail, answer your permit number 6125, series of 2013. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. She hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954. Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can text us 0927-214-1981. Bianca Valerio. Bianca, I didn't ask you, so what's your favorite yes. sexual position? Who, me? <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, you. <laughs> Um, I'm your favorite. That's a nice answer. If someone goes, hey, what's your favorite sexual position? You. That's such a <laughs> yes. <deep bag. laughs> Honestly, it depends. It, it depends on... Um, it depends if I just want to have, like, sex. I just want to fuck. Or I just want to... I'm so awkward right now. <laughs> so, so what's sorry. your fuck position? Like, what's your go-to... What's your go-to just want to get fucked position? Uh, <clears throat> um, I like tables. Ah, uh, so way. you want to like, yeah, and you know what's good on the I'm table is you're tall. I'm very visual as so well. So you're very leggy. Yeah, you're a leggy girl. So I mean, yeah. there's, there's gonna be a lot of legs and like tentacles and shit all yeah. over the place. That's like that's kind of that's put it this way because I'm a model, and I 
you know, it's all about art direction. <laughs> I don't know. There are just certain things or certain moves or certain things that you just want to do. And it just, and you feel like in your head, like it's more visual to the guy. And, and it turns you on as well because you know that they like what they see. I don't know. I, I, I'm for me, I, then I try why to. no sex tape? I mean, to be honest, if you're a model and everything's visual and then, you know, because there's Because I know <clears> that <throat> there are repercussions. I don't know how to encrypt shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid. Have a sex tape. I'm very Send afraid. Send it over to me. I'll no, encrypt that what? shit. <laughs> Listen, Mr. White, it's science, bitch. You know, come on, just bring that over me and I'll, 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 yeah. I'll fix it for you. But you know All what? Right, um, I, I'm still a big fan, honestly, of, of missionary for intimacy. Only because, um, like I said, it's, it's very, very intimate. You can really look at that into a person's eyes. And um, I would never have missionary sex with you. I just I couldn't do it. You know, here's the move I would do if I was having sex with you, like what specifically. You if it was specifically you, you and I, like, reject totally. me, bitch. <laughs> no, listen, it, it's not. It's not. It was. It's not gonna be missionary. It's your legs are gonna be on my shoulders, missionary. Okay. And then you know, kind of, and then kind of like spread your legs out using my arms, and okay. kind of like like boxing you out in basketball. Okay, I'll box but you that's out with not your legs. intimate though. I mean, I'm talking about like making love. You know, there's fucking, and then there's making love, and and I feel that's like a making love position. It's it's. I mean, it's it's making love with fucking. I mean, there's there's like a it's like a double dipping kind of thing, but um, it's a lucking. You're right. Yeah, but you know, like missionary, it's it's the most intimate. It's because your bodies are really touching each other, and in a way, I mean, oh my god, I can't believe I'm just giving myself away here. But you know, it, if it, with the right kind of move, like the guy can go in really, really deep, like where he knows how to push against your body, and you're it's just yeah. Only yeah, if it's, funny, the right. it's funny. It's 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 only us Asians who have to come up with plans on how to get in really deep. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm all like, about it. Guys like. I'll put. It, I'll just put half of it in, and you're happy. You know how many calls we get with with fucking like. So I'm having sex with my, uh, you know, Filipino boy, Asian guy. I mean, obviously we're we're small dick guys. It's like, and I, I really want to find a position to get him really deep inside me. I'm Black all is like, about what, it. What are these for problems? Sure, right, deep impact, as they say. <laughs> Black guys like what, what's what's going on here? What are these problems? I don't even have to push them at all. Yeah. Um, let's go to some calls here and talk to let's talk to B. Also twenty eight years old. Okay. She's in Manila. Hi B, you're on line five. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi Mo. Hi Bianca. Hi B. What's up, baby? Hi. Uh, okay. So you the thing is, uh, I have a colleague that I need to dispose of. She's my competition. My kill? We like the same guy. Oh. Well, not, oh. not kill. <laughs> Your okay, accent yeah. just not... makes you sound so classy. <laughs> That's right. Oh, thank so you. you. Are... <laughs> so, so you have a colleague. She's your friend or she's just a coworker? She's more like a friend of me. Fuck, all right. And you both like the same dude and you want to fucking sabotage her ability to get this guy. Yes, because um, what the thing pal. is, um, she messed up one of my projects a while ago and you are the king of revenge mo so oh, I, yes, you I know are. Yes, that you, come you can the right help place. me out that's right me. yeah <laughs> right. now you so you want to so, get revenge on her for the project she fucked up and you want to steal the guy yes exactly isn't stealing the guy the revenge we're looking for anyway yeah okay, in so a way how do i steal the guy though <laughs> how do you steal the guy no okay it, it all starts with this and and B, please take this question in the spirit that it's intended because I want you to be successful. It all boils Thank down you. to this. It all boils down to this. Are you okay. hotter than she is? Totally. Oh, well, then fuck, Absolutely. you have nothing to worry about. Without a doubt. Well, then, 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 you're, okay, then, then the chances then, of you then scoring why this guy would, are... I mean, are why would you feel threatened by this girl? Like, do you actually think she has a chance with him? Is it because they have a closer friendship or they spend more time together? Or how about this? Who called the guy first? Who said I like him first? You or her? I had dibs. I definitely well, had dibs. What the fuck is wrong the with guy. her then? But the thing is, she has G cup knockers. And I G have cup. very G? Yeah. No, no, no. She G can't have G cup. That make that would make her 400 pounds. Like realistically, what, what what's her boob size? Okay, but well, it's definitely bigger than mine. It's and what are you? But I don't think I a guy would just that... like like a girl just because she has bigger boobs. Some guys actually don't like big boobs. They like ass or that... they. It what? depends. Of course not. Of course, it's still, it's, you're getting ridiculous. Just... Bianca, please don't be, relax. I'm serious. Relax. <laughs> um. So big tits versus good face. 
I'm a good face guy. I'm a good, good face, face kind yeah, good of Good face trumps person. big tits all the time. Yeah. Can you can you do me a favor? Uh, Pico has a good idea. He sent me a message. Can you do you have a photo between the two of you? Like do you have a picture that the both of you have taken and can you send it our way right now so we can assess what we're working with here? I mean, um B, you also have to consider the fact that maybe, you know, I'm I'm trying to be as objective as possible. Like maybe she looks like someone you'd fuck. You know what I mean? She looks fuckable like you said. She's got big knockers, right? But do you want to do you want to sell yourself as just someone to sleep with or you obviously want to date this person, right? So it really it it you have to maximize on your strengths rather than did, did, do you know what I mean, Mo? Because it's Yeah, like, I do. I do. But but I want to ask cuz in, in the end, if these two girls can get into this personal competition between the both of them, but does the guy like either of them? Is is the thing. Yeah. I mean, we can always go, "Oh, okay, who's hotter?" Uh, she's definitely hotter. B said, I'm much, much way, I'm way hotter than this girl. Okay. Well, then that, your, your chances are better. But does it still mean that the guy wants you? Like, yeah, is he flirting I mean, you with can you? be pretty, but if your personality you? is shit, I mean. Well, I, not really. But yeah, I, I see where you're at, Bianca. Okay. In the long term, your personality has to be good. But yeah. right now, which is, I need to score this guy because I want that girl to pay. Well, at this point, if you're hotter, are you better at making lende? Are you dressing? Yeah. Wow. Well, you dress better question. than she. Is? <laughs> I, I mean, think, like, if, if um, I think she's a lot. Um, she's kind of more of the chaser type, ng hahabol ng lalaki, whereas I'm more of the type who waits until they come to me. <laughs> so. Okay. Does this guy know that you like him? Yeah. Yes, he does. And he hasn't so, done anything so I guess about he it. He has like a huge ego right now because there are two girls fighting over him. So both of, and he knows that both of you like him. Yeah, and uh, actually, the the other girl, my competition, she sent him sure. photos of herself in like a bikini. So I'm already oh, like fuck. kind of behind here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're. I'm you're a little in bad behind shape. here. So she's yeah. got a strategy. Ooh. She's got a game plan. Um, well, this yeah, guy's dick must be fucking. Just yeah, I know, but I'm just, day. I'm just oh. curious. Is this kind of guy? Because you know, I'm, I'm also looking at it from a way where some guys, yeah, it's an ego feed, but sometimes they're also turned off by girls who are too aggressive, right? I mean, Doesn't Mo, mean that he won't just fuck look him? at you. I mean, just Doesn't look at you. You I don't actually him. like girls that come on too strong. They are too, too aggressive, and there are guy, there are guys who actually like the chase. So. It, it, Here's what. It, okay, listen. If a girl is sending me bikini photos, hmm. and I don't like a girl who does that, but I don't like a girl who's very difficult to get. But let's just say a girl sends me bikini photos. Hmm. I'm still gonna fuck her immediately. I'm yeah, gonna, but the thing is, she wants to date this guy, not just fuck. Right. She actually but, wants to be. The but girlfriend. what's important to this girl? Making that girl pay the competition. If she's, if this girl fucks this guy. She's going to feel like she's lost, regardless of what happens. Okay. Then what's so, more important uh, right now? Fucking that girl over because of the job or getting yeah, the guy? You have to figure guy. out. Yeah, you got to figure out what's more important to you. What's, yeah, exactly. What's your priority here? Is it to make the girl lose and to rub it in her face or to eventually be the girlfriend of this dude? Yes. Because one will suffer over the other. Well, I really like this guy. Definitely the guy. Mm. It's it's okay if I don't fuck her over because of the project, because that's like you know it's no big deal. It's a done thing. But really, the guy. I really really like this guy. How long has he known that you like him? Oh my god! Like I only told. Well, I only kind of gave it the impression of it about like three weeks ago. But see, something should have happened by then. You know, like a guy. If it turns right? out. He should have done something by that time. He should have done something by in a week. He, there should, should have been some sort of like. And if he doesn't do anything, I worry he doesn't like you. Yeah, but my question is: Has he? Do you know? Have you heard if he's actually done anything with that girl? Like, if he's actually talking to her? I mean, talking like texting with her, or you know, showing a bit of interest. Do you know anything other than the photos that she sent to him? What I heard was that she was. Um, texting him every day. Uh, what I'm not sure is if he replied to anyone. How he reciprocated. Okay. And how often yeah. do you com how often do you communicate with this guy? Uh, I try to at least send a message of at least like every week, like once a week or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you got to get a little bit more aggressive than that. I was. Yeah, you got to get a little bit more aggressive. 
Yeah, I, I'm 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 very traditional when it comes to these things. But if you really want this guy, I think you're gonna have to try more than once a week. If this girl's sure. like messaging him like every day, because you also have to realize sometimes frequency. You you're what you're hap- what you're doing also is you're sort of like sublimity implanting ideas into his head. So if you're constantly in his peripheral, meaning I'm constantly reminded of you, whether it be from a text message or just hearing your voice or just even seeing your photo not necessarily communicating with you at least it's already planted in his brain to to think of you so sometimes if you compare the one that's every day and then compare it to the one that's once a week naturally who would you think of more the one who messages you every day right yeah but if a girl is hot and she is let's see here's the thing that you don't and and, and Bianca, i don't blame you because you're a girl and that's fine but as a guy if the girl is hot this girl, B, if she is so much hotter than this other big tit girl. He would have known this already by now. I would have done something about yeah. it already. You know, and that's the thing. It's like, why Why the delay? Does he have a girlfriend? I mean, three weeks is quite some time. Okay, here's my last question, and then we're, we're done here. Yeah. And then we have to do a final verdict. Um, B, how did you tell him you were interested in him? I asked him out to drinks. And, and what did he say? There. Um... He said that he was very flattered, <laughs> um, that he would like to keep seeing more of me, hopefully. But, like, that was Ooh. it. He kind of just, like, he, basically he dropped the ball. I don't know if I dropped the ball or he dropped the ball, but, like, we agreed to see more of each other, and then we didn't. <laughs> Why don't you invite him out again this weekend? I think that's a good move. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, hold on. Okay. I want to ask you, are you, a, are you a virgin? or I mean, what's going on no, here? Do you have a cat? <laughs> No? Okay. All right. All right. I just want to keep it in your mind. Just like if something happens this weekend and you guys get drunk again, that there's a good chance that you're going to fuck this guy. That's all. Yeah. I mean, when you when you kind of confess it to him, did you play the drunk card or were you like sincere, like up front? No, the truth is I really don't like playing the drunk card because I feel like that's a cop out. That's and fantastic. Not- Great. Because if you want him to take you seriously and you can gauge what kind of answer he was going to give you, because sometimes when people talk to you drunk, you just sometimes just say whatever because you know you probably they won't remember or whatever. The point is it's not so to speak sincere. But the fact that you were sincere and he knows that and then he gave you that answer. I mean, what do you think, Mo? Is that is that an answer that's very oh, well, like polite? No, 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 listen. No, listen. Hey, B, we wasted so much time on you. What? We wasted too uh, much what? time on you. What? I just saw the photo of the girl, and I just saw a photo of you. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> you're fine. Oh, I, really? Yeah. Yes, you're fine. <laughs> you're, I love how you're, you're, Pico just you're, graded. You're completely okay. You know, yeah. No, don't worry about it. She could send him bikini photos every day. You're fine. <laughs> yes. Really? Okay. The, yes. You're, you're gonna, oh, you, you can take your time on this one. This, this guy's not going to date your uh, big tit girl fr- uh, friend here. Um, no way. No way. Okay, thanks a lot. That, that's that's no. really encouraging, actually. Thank you Yes. So much. Like, if I went to the zoo, you're a giraffe. <laughs> Mo, She's a stop it. There, there's, a, there's no way that this is going to happen. I'm sorry. You're fine, love. Oh, we sorry. wasted all this time, B. Oh. Unnecessary worry. No, you're okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm God sorry speed. for your, wasting your time then. Um, no, yeah. no, no, you didn't never waste do your that time, again. But, it, but a lot never of people who are calling right now who may have the same problem, thinking we didn't look at the photos, you know, they... Oh... Oh, I just saw the photo. No, no, I mean, no. I'm sure she has a great personality. <laughs> Whatever. But Who, how does that girl get off sending bikini photos baby, to another man? Baby, you are man? a lovely girl. I'm looking at your photo right now, and you've got the cutest dimples. You have great skin. Baby, Listen, you're on the right track. I don't care what she looks like. Just as long as I saw the other girl, I already know you're going to be fine. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, yeah. Bianca, you're, you're fine. welcome. You're welcome. Be, no problem. You're in. You're in. You're good. Yeah, I don't like worry. the way how you're playing this. You know, don't don't get let scanty. her text don't him every scanty. day. That's fine. Yeah, you Absolutely. know your worth. So good Nothing's job. Gonna happen. I don't have to. I don't have to ask him out this weekend or whatever. No, no, no. You can ask. No, no, no. Yeah, you can ask him out. You can ask him out for yourself. 
But in terms of, say, losing to the competition, which was the original worry, you're fine. Yeah. Still ask him out for your own personal kind of fulfillment. Yeah, but don't have whatnot. major expectations. Because I think what Mo is trying to say that... Don't worry about losing to this hippopotamus is what I'm saying. Okay, no. <laughs> no. Mo, stop it. No, but you know what, She's though? Huge. This is just like like Mo said, for your own peace of mind, so you kind of know where you are in this whole thing. But don't get your expectations up. And let's just say he rejected you. It doesn't mean that you suck. It doesn't mean that whatever. It's just... It's just the way it is, but don't have doubts about yourself. I mean, at yeah. least you got your own peace You're of mind. Fine. You got your own closure. Yeah. You're okay. Thank you. Thank so you, much, B. You guys. Okay. Yeah. Bye, You're love. Welcome. Take Goodbye. care. Bye, B. I love your Bye. name. Bye. Bye, love. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, hippopotamus girl. girl. <laughs> she looks like a hippopotamus. It's hippo a hippopotamus. <laughs> oh, sorry. I like, I like hippopotamus more. <laughs> It's like saying it's it strawberry. Sell it as much. Strawberry. Oh, and it's Santa Claus. I know, but 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 when you say hippopotamus, it doesn't sound beastly. No. When you say tangen laki niya mukha siyang hippopotamus, it sounds better. It sounds like someone with really large, like nostrils. I don't know. It's just it's nasty. Boy, this girl. This is nasty. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, she's got balls to send a guy with um yeah. um um what do you call it bikini, bikini photos. Shots. No, I honestly I, I admire women who are like you know a heavier set and the way like for example um the sister of Liv Tyler, she's a plus size model. Oh no, she is hot. She is beautiful, but she's she's really much more on the bigger side. But the way she goes on, it's like she's a size two. I I love I love that kind of confidence. This so, girl has thighs on her arms. Wow, legs. Anyway, okay, moving on <laughs> to our next caller. <laughs> uh, let's go to MJ, who is 22 Paranyake. Hi, MJ, what's up? Line six. Hi, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, MJ. Hi, MJ. What's going on, buddy? Um, sorry, na- sorry, I'm sorry. 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 i am Mm. She's a big girl. <laughs> Can you speak up, baby? Can you make it voice? Yeah, yeah, MJ, louder? a little louder, buddy. Sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go. Yes. Um, I've been dating this girl for four months. Okay. And then, uh, she's a single mom, pala. Tapos, then, parang friendly friendly lang kami. And then, yun, nagkaka feelings na rin ako. Problem is, uh, <laughs> he's going to. <laughs> You're losing Mo, baby. Canada You're losing Mo. Gotta give it energy, more like on. life. Yeah, let's go. Energy. Okay. All right. So yeah. now, so so here's the problem. You're dating this girl. You have feelings for her. She's a shing, she, she's a single mom. Yeah. And now what? Moving to Canada. Oh. She's moving to Canada. All when? Right. Um, I think end of the year. All right. So what's the question? She's moving to Canada. Hello again. Sorry. Yeah. So what's, what's your question? question? So my question is, if I will still continue on courting this girl or not? Nope. 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 Not a twenty-two. Not a thirty-two. Oh. No. Don't do it. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's funny because I feel like we have this problem more than other cultures have. The I like distance. a girl and she's because we have so many of our our, our countrymen move away because for greener yeah. pastures or for uh, you know economic reasons and whatever that we we find this problem all the time. We have more long distance relationships I think than anybody else does out there in the world um because the way our lifestyle is built. Yeah. I mean, the way culturally yeah. we're built and, and economically we're built. So this is a common problem. And MJ, I'm telling you, if MG. you're not even in a relationship with this girl, like you guys are just kind of sort of dating and she's already moving away and you're 22, there's no way you should pursue this. What you should do, though, is enjoy each other's time that you still while have. You're, yeah, before. while she's still here, yeah. So I because, guess I mean, you just have to be friends. Yeah, but be friends, but be enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with being friends and romantically yeah, involved. Know. You you just have to know that it cannot be pursued after this. Yeah, you can't. But, you but can't see, let it yeah. go. There are a lot further. of people. There are a lot of people that that fucking puss yeah. out. Ange, are you there? Ange, just want to say hi to you, baby. That's all. No, I'm not gonna put you on the mic. 
Is Ange there? Oh, I want to hear her in the so background. Much for a long distance relationship. Ange? Yeah. You there, Ange? She's there? She's oh, hugging yeah. a oh, gigantic she's okay. teddy bear right now. It is yeah. so big. Okay. Just, I just wanted to check if Ange was in the background. That's all. There's no, no, no reference to this call. Yeah. Here's what people do sometimes. They get scared that they're going to fall in love. And then get scared that they're going to be heartbroken because the person is leaving, that they end up distancing themselves from that person. When that person doesn't deserve it, they haven't done anything wrong. They have, they've been all, only nice to you. They've, you guys have had the greatest time. I want people to stop doing that. Stop saying, Oh, I don't want my feelings to, I don't want to fall. For example, let's say Bianca, you and I, right? We meet each other. We have the greatest chemistry. Mm-hmm. I fucking think you're beautiful and exciting and I really love everything about you, mm-hmm. but you're going to be moving to, Saudi Arabia yes. in December. So yeah. that gives me October to December. And then you know what most people do? At least in our culture, they end up not talking. They'll say, oh, I, I don't want to talk to Bianca anymore. Why? Because I'm just, I don't want to get too I attached. I want to protect myself involved. from falling too myself. hard. Yeah. And Bianca's here going, why? What happened? What did I do? It's not you. It's me. You know, I, I don't want, it's selfish. If you have a great thing going on, you've got great chemistry and, and that person's really nice and brings so much joy to your life. Isn't it better to have two months than to have nothing, even though you're going to get hurt at the end? You're still going to get hurt? No, I, I, I totally yeah. agree with that. But I guess with some people, before they get in too deep, that Ange. they fall hard. Before they, they fall flat on their face, they get too attached. They'd rather back Ange. off while it's Producer still Ange. early. Let's Hoy. Be yeah, they do. And I don't like that. I don't like that pussy mentality. I want you, if that person is a good person and the both of you have shared great moments, then continue it and do it. Haven't you watched Before Sunset? Haven't you watched Before Sunrise? Okay, that's fair. But I'm just speaking on behalf of the people who are just, who are afraid, right? And so- Stop being pussies is what I say. All right? So MJ, a stop being yeah, a fag. Just enjoy you. the company that you have now. And enjoy it. Enjoy yeah. every yeah. second of it until she leaves. And when she leaves, you're going to feel bad and you're going to miss her. Yeah, fine. But hey, say la vie. At least you had it instead of not having yeah, it. Yeah, but hold on though. Um, yeah. For both your sake, just make it clear from the start that, you know, um, just make sure you both are on the same page. Because for all you know, she could be expecting, oh, okay, he knows I'm going to Canada. He seems to want to continue. Then maybe we'll do long distance or maybe we'll... Will re-decide again when December comes? No. Like, make it clear from the start but what your expectations are, where you see this going, so that there's no misunderstanding, no miscommunication, and then in the end, you both part on good terms and happy That's terms. That's right. Yeah. And, and leaves the door yeah. open for a reconciliation yeah. or something like that of some yeah. sort. All right. Thanks for the call, MJ. Good Bye. luck with you, Bye. Take care. Right. Good Thank luck. You. Bye. Bye. It's like this, dude. Ange. And if she has I told a you, silent smile on her face. Yeah. I don't know. And then she's hugging the teddy bear. Like yeah. I don't know. Did did you know who gave that to her? So his uh, name is uh, <laughs> his name is uh, Akbar from uh, Azerbaijan. He uh, he's the one we're talking about here. He's a foreign man of uh, Middle Eastern blood. I'm all about foreigners, and yes, I, I feel Middle you. Eastern blood. I feel he's you. A, he's yeah. a good man. He's from uh, Pakistan, <laughs> and but his father's from uh, Pakistan. His mother's from Azerbaijan. So it's he beautiful. must have a large penis. Oh, very big penis. It's uh, like uh, the people in our country is big penis. <laughs> I look at your I look at your fucking Filipino and I laugh because they laugh at the fucking dick is like three three <laughs> three point five. Hey, in our country, in Pakistan, we are, our dicks start minimum seven, seven point yeah, eight. Yeah, I, yeah, speaking of penis size, because, you know, they always say the famous saying, like, once you go black, you never go back. However, no, once I you heard, go. I heard Middle Easterns have the biggest penises. It's just that people Why are. Why don't more... you know the saying, oh, once you go Middle East, you feel like you got fucked by a beast? <laughs> it, it's, that's our saying there in, uh, in Azerbaijan. Yeah, you go Middle East, you feel like you got fucked by a beast. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's what yes. I heard. I think because... Yeah, that's right. I, I that's mean, cor- you've call heard me correct. ignorant, but maybe because a lot of people have talked about more like having we go, sex with black We go black jihad on that pussy. To, if you know, if you like what Middle I say. Middle Eastern men. Yeah, exactly. I, I like to go jihad on that Ange pussy. <laughs> it's... That coffee almost came out of my nose, man. I want to fuck a 66 virgins with my 7.8. <laughs> that's all I get to do. That's I love all it. I get to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. 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 Thank you, Ange. All right. That's right. Ange, you saved that. Uh, 
Yeah, I know your vagina has been uh, kissed by many women, but oh, uh, oh. but listen. But you know what? People I'm willing, are now watching this podcast saying, Ange, "Who I'm the willing, fuck is Ange? Listen, Show me a goddamn I'm, picture of Ange." <laughs> I'm willing to overlook such uh, small, uh, intricate uh, mistakes that you have made, just because I love you so much. Thank mm. you. And She's I'm crying. Atheist, like She's you. crying. Okay. Yeah, you're very welcome. She's crying, Mo. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's uh let's uh, back to more of your dick problem. Okay. Um let's get to where are we here? Commercial break? Yeah, let's do commercial break. Let okay. me well let me let me just say hi to the person online in line five. They've been on hold for a long time. Elsie, line five. Elsie, San Diego? Yes, hi, Mo. Hi, hi. Can, can you hold Hello? on? We're gonna take one more short commercial break and then we're gonna attack your problem. Is that okay? No problem. Oh, sure. you I thought lovely she was girl. Yes. <laughs> oh, you lovely girl. I'd like to fuck you too. Thank you very oh, much. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on. We appreciate it. Just give, give us a second here. When we come back, we'll talk to Elsie first. Uh, she's in the uh, where is she? She's in San Diego. And then we'll take a couple more here in the uh, provinces. It's Good Times Mo the Podcast Season Two, brought to you by Globe. Phone number four seven eight seven nine five four. Skype the Good Times Podcast. You text us zero nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. Back after this, don't go away. Stay t- 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 tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. With All Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have. Some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. For the scary and sweet is at SM Supermalls. The SM Three Day Sale happens on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. SM Three Day Sale. Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM Three Day Sale. The SM Three Day Sale on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. See posters or print ads for details. Per DTI NCR permit number 6125, series of 2013. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny. But um, what's like, have you played play Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you keep okay. saying chubby bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say chubby bunny. We're gonna say, we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna va. Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'm gonna do two at a time. Okay, gonna va. What? Okay, na, okay, na. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Ons heeft een boot. Ook geen man, ook geen man. Ook ik een dag. Ik ben een man, ik ben een man. Girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here Monday night. It is Good Times with Mo, the podcast on the 7th of October, 2013. Phone number 478 Hey, Skype. The Good Times podcast. You can even text us. 0927 214 on the show tonight. Bianca Valerio. You can follow her on Twitter at Bianca underscore Valerio. She has a book out. It's called Face to Face, The Healing Powers of Makeup. Oh, right? man. Finally, you got it down to a T. <laughs> Thank you. Available Thank you. at all major bookstores. And you can um, get that. And there's some sort of like uh, charitable 100% of the royalties goes to charity. You see? Yeah. So I don't Bianca make any money from good it. good person. Yeah. That's right. I like to. I, ask you, I have this question here I want to ask you. Yeah. Okay, you know how when people fuck up their grammar, I, I get I, it doesn't irritate me. I just like picking on people with awful grammar. But I mean, I, I'm I've I have wrong grammar every now and then. But people who send me messages of hate, they have got really fucked up grammar. Mm -hmm. And then when people misspell things, I feel like misspell it's not a big because deal it's by accident, or you know how they shortcut the words, or they're jets. Well, I, well, my point is when we were younger, mm -hmm. and if you misspell a word. It's embarrassing. Yes. But I feel like because people misspell words now all the time, like grammar is more important than spelling at this point. It, it, spelling is like everybody has awful spelling because we know that the moment we type it into our phone, it's going to tell us the spelling is wrong and we're just going to fix it. Or and, and as a writer, and, and this is what I'm asking because you're a writer, mm -hmm. it's like no, not a big deal anymore to 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 – fucking uh stress spelling when you're in school because your computer does everything for you now, no to be honest with you i i i turn off the dictionary in my phone because um sometimes why I would you want to do something stupid i like no because well um sometimes i text in tagalog right and it is a bitch when it you, you do not tell me don't lie to me like that you if there's if, if you're gonna text in tagalog it's one word in tagalog i know your type Manong, I want you to come here right now and open the pinto of this car no, right now. No, of course I mean, not. It, uh, it depends on the I'm dictionary because of that. To. It really depends. I'm talking. For example, when if a person is going to text me in Tagalog, I reply in Tagalog. I, I, it's just respectful, right? So um, you don't need to translate it for the audience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, but um, for example, like mo naman, like yeah, I mean, just simple words again. But anyway, the point is. When but I but was in college, that, no, when I was texting. in college, I used to yeah. do the shortcut of like wait, like W8 and then Nandito, like N A N D. You did that Jejemon shit? Oh, yeah, I used to do it. Wait, oh, because you fuck. wanted to get so everything much. in those 140 characters to save on load. Because back in the day, it was not, what's the word? Um, unlimited chorva, right? Whatever. Yeah. Okay, my point is, I, I would do that. And then when I actually started writing in school, Fuck, I would actually start writing all those shortcut words. So I stopped it because it made me dumb. It made me so fucking dumb. Right. And, and that's my point, though. My point is I feel like spelling is not a big deal anymore because you will be Somebody corrected automatically. Now, already. if you do the Jejemon shit, which is wait and W8, then you're yeah. fucked yeah. for forever. Yeah. But if you at least try, like say you don't know how to type, say you don't know how to spell specific. But you know what it means and you want to use it. Yeah. You'll type something that almost sounds like specific or almost reads as specific. And your computer will tell you, hey, dumb fuck, you put <laughs> Pacific. You mean specific. specific I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I mean. There's going to be a red underline on your Microsoft Word document or any of these things. But one thing that they won't correct is your grammar. So I feel like when it comes to school, I don't spelling. Eh, no big deal anymore. Let's concentrate on getting that grammatics, the grammatical errors. You want to minimize that. That's the important thing. Usually the at the spelling most, is what gonna they'll be do fixed is, yeah, you. actually, yeah, in texting, they don't tell you um, a fragment or recommends a comma or a semicolon or a period or it's a that's phrase. Right. Yeah. It's true. the nominees are, not nominees is. Yeah. You know, it's not going to do that. 
But yet, if you misspell nominees, it'll tell you. And you don't even have to kind of even be near it sometimes. You can be completely off, and it'll still tell you, no, 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 this is the right way to do it. So spelling, not a big deal anymore. Probably you can kind of relax on that when it comes to schooling. And at a young age, you want to beef up on your uh, your ability to have uh, sound but Sentence grammar. construction. I mean, because sometimes your grammar could be great. I mean, uh, but yeah, sentence construction. Sometimes you have run-on sentences where I'm very anal. Oh, that's me. I'm, I'm oh, very anal on semicolons. It's like, you and Ellen are you ma- are you making sure this is just a sentence or it's a connection of the sentence? Like, I try to be as proper as that because I, I think... What is really the semicolon for, for example? You know, you actually want to be able to use the things that you learn in school and really apply them for what they're using. But every time I see a semicolon, I think immediately the person's a douchebag. Thanks. <laughs> no, really. Like, show off. Just no, what are you showing whatever. off here for. Okay. All right, let's get to some more of these calls. Let's talk to Elsie. Elsie is in San Diego, which is, of course, in California, United States. Hi, Elsie. You are on line five. Welcome to the program. How can we help you? Hi, Mo. Hi, Bianca. Hi, Elsie. Nice to meet you. Good morning, love. What's up? Yeah. Good morning. Um, I called about, like, a few months ago, like, asking you. your thoughts about, like, is once a cheater always a cheater? And you, you told me about, like, it depends on the track record of the person. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Because, like, my husband has uh, was divorced first, and the reason they got divorced was because he, he cheated on on. Um, his first wife. So sure. um, right now I'm kind of having thoughts about it because now I'm married to him and we're celebrating um, our first wedding anniversary on Friday. Cause, oh, congratulations. Um, like there are some signs. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, but there's some signs that now sort it's of like I'm having second <laughs> thoughts. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, but yeah, well, I'm just concerned about is it. He, because, is there any – because here's the thing about <laughs> cheating and uh, with females at least – if the girl feels like there's a problem, there's likely a problem. Like, girls have that intuition. It's fucking, you guys are fantastic. This intuitive feeling that yes. if my boyfriend or my husband is cheating on me, he's probably cheating on me. I just have to get proof. But it could so, it be my, my, also that because she knows of his track record, it's sort of implanted a little bit of just even just a tiny bit yeah, of Yeah, you told me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah. no, t- t- tell me about it. My dad yeah. died of cancer a couple months ago. I still think about him every single night. I mean, at night, I have the hardest time thinking about even going to sleep because I always still remember how awful it was. You know what I did? I've been to the doctor maybe like a dozen times since he's passed away because i think i have cancer too it it is implanted that because my dad has it i must have it and every little scratch on my back i have cancer you know i I tell the doctor doctor i have cancer you know he's like it's just it's implanted in your mind we get it however is there something that he has done recently yeah has he given you reason to doubt concrete proof that he might be fucking around um what do you well, have last week because um he told me last week like uh, he's playing this app on his ipad a game or some sort that's like a tournament and so he told me to play it while he has, he's at work so you know i'm just staying at home so i was just like playing with it and then one day um a Facebook message came in while I was playing on his iPad mm. and it was from his ex-wife whom he hasn't spoken to in like four years okay. you know okay. so okay. Um, what did it say uh, I it's it, it sort of said uh, I actually read the message but I told him that I didn't open the message yeah so um but I uh, it, it said because it was his birthday la- like two weeks ago before that message came in so um, it said like, uh, oh, I, I was just, for some reason I was looking at your Facebook page and congratulations on your wedding. And, you know, it's like first year already, something like that, like congratulations. And I miss your family and something like that. Um, okay. That doesn't yeah. sound like so, cheating at all to me. No. That sounds and, like she hasn't, she has just come across the Facebook message like the facebook page like i think yeah they haven't spoken that sounds like like four years and they're not facebook friends yeah i think it was just really a genuine like hey haven't talked to you for in a while um how are you hope everything's doing well it's it's sometimes it's even her way of trying to make peace with the whole situation of trying to be happy for him right but 
Um, it doesn't seem like he's actually messaged her first. It 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 seems like he she messaged him first out of the blue. It doesn't sound something suspicious. Yeah. Uh, now, now it doesn't mean yeah, that then, it uh, can't start something. I mean, obviously, it could start something. It depends on what he responds back, yeah. and that's uh, I think what you need to check up on. Is there anything else that she said? Like, what did right. he tell you after uh, you said that you just saw it, but you didn't, so to speak, read it? Yeah. Yeah. Did um, he read well, it off to you? Yeah. He's just like, no, he didn't read it off to me, but I read it, and then, but I told him like, oh, I just saw the first few lines because it just popped up, like a pop up window, yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of, and and yeah. yeah. So, um, but I read it, and I just you know marked it like like as unread. So um, nice. I was Good waiting job, for him Solid when move. when he got home. I was wait. I was trying to wait for him to to you know to tell me about it, um, like on his part, you know. But I know for a fact that he already got the message because he all also got the those Facebook messages on his phone, you know, which he ah, has at yeah. work. So I was just right. trying to wait for him to to make the first move to tell me up front. And so after a while, I waited and I couldn't take it anymore. So I. I kind of like told him casually, like, "Oh, I was just playing your iPad this morning, and and this message came in from your ex-wife." And he was just like, "I I think he's kind of like surprised, but then he, like, um, he he's like no reaction, trying to pull pull off an NR look. So yeah. um, so he's just shrugged it off and oh yeah okay, and and you know like so I followed up a question on him and and asked like." Were you ever gonna tell me about it? And then he he said like, I didn't think it was important. Mm. So I told him like, I don't mind you t talking to her because she's part of your life. You know, you've been married to her before, before me. And then, um, you know, um, that's a lie. Continue. I just I was just upset that you didn't tell me about it. Yeah, it is a lie. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but no, then, I you know, I was upset because he didn't tell me about it. If it wasn't important, then you should have just told me about it because I was honest. With, he knows that I'm very honest with him, and I, I told him that I expect him to do the same. And then he goes, right. he apologized, and, you know, um, after that, it was okay. But then it's kind of annoying now because, well, I know that they talked because I just recently looked on his Facebook message again on his again, iPad. yeah. And they talked over the weekend, and um, it's kind of annoying also because I noticed over the weekend during what when they were like kind of chatting that he like overlooks over his shoulder like to see if I'm like within eye shot of his iPad to see you know he's kind it's kind of like shady thing like yeah. behavior or habit to, okay. to check to see if I'm you know to, around before he texts or replies back or something like that. So okay, it's kind of like annoying. And, yeah, I can I can I can I say something? And because like I'm I'm the girl, right? So I'm 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 on your side. So I know how you feel because I've been there. I've been cheated. Though. I've cheated too. So I I know how the <clears throat> psychology is from both sides. Personally, um, when he said I didn't feel it was important, and again I could be wrong on this one. I mean, I messaged <laughs> with my ex exes from before, like the dad of my kid or whatnot, and. I, if I were dating someone, I, I don't feel I need to tell them because I'm not hiding anything. If they ask me about it, then I'll tell them. But I don't feel like I need to report now, it. Now, if you were... Because no, she Bianca, was saying, like, I want him to be different, honest. Though. Yeah. Oh, no, right, but she's she was married saying, to want... this dude. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. It's just, she was saying, like, I want him to be honest with me. I... Uh, maybe could it be that maybe he wasn't actually trying to hide it from you? It was just more of he didn't feel like he needed to tell you because there was nothing to tell. It was okay. more of however, however I, I got to cut in here because we're, yeah. we're, her situation completely different. When you initially said, "Hey, your a message came up while I was playing this game shit and all that," he's like, "Oh, okay, I didn't think it was a big deal." Then you should say, "Well, it is a big deal, and I appreciate if you would tell me because she is your ex-wife. I mean, we're married now, and." It, it, there's no room for this, like, hiding it stuff. I mean, we're married. And then he, if he goes, oh, okay, I apologize, which yeah. he did, and then over the weekend continued mm -hmm. to fucking have a conversation with her and not tell you about it, what happened to the, you just said sorry for not telling me, now you're carrying on a full conversation with her over yeah, the weekend. Yeah, so that's and what I was going to say. Guess what? Like you're not telling me. So what the fuck? 
I totally agree with you. Like initially it was more of, I don't think he had to tell you. It was just more of it came up and it just happened. But although now because he's messaging with her, then it's a whole totally different story. Well, I, I want to know what are they, what are they messaging about over the weekend? When you check his Facebook again, what was the conversation about? Well, something about football <laughs> and then like, Oh, um, edge. Is that you? Photos Sorry. that yeah, he posted. Yeah. <sighs> okay, and it, yeah. it, you mean it's not important like, stuff. It's it's the game just over the weekend. Just like really random stuff, right? Nothing personal. Sweet, like yeah, conversation. Shit. Yeah, but then and he, he has he not told you about it. Told her. No, he hasn't told me about it, and he told her that we should keep in touch. Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Like that. Well. And he wait wait the sorry girl, and last thing and he didn't tell you kids. and he didn't tell you any of this. He no, still hasn't I told you until now that he was Facebook actually account. that he said all those things to her that he conversed with her again after no. your talk. No. Oh, Elsie. Okay, yeah. then that's different. Okay. Yeah, Elsie. Uh, um, what I think here? Here, um, right Bianca? now. I'm sorry because I've I've been there and I've done that. I'll just keep quiet and maybe he'll come out. I'm just gonna come up and say it and be like, look. I thought you told me that you're going to be da 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 We agreed on this. And the fact that I'm trying to be so understanding and respectful of the fact that she is a part of your life, I expect you to do the same thing. She courtesy. is not a part of your life. Hold on. Do you? Do they have kids? Hey. No. Elsie. Okay. Oh, no. She is not a she part has, of he, he the life. Was, another whatever one. was. Okay. She's she, just trying to they, be considered listen, in the conversation. I know, but the problem is you're in, not you, but this girl is giving him reason because then I would use it against you. The moment you go, I understand she's your ex-girl wife and you have shared a lot so that's why you're going to talk. Then I'm like, okay, then you understand. But the point is, no, you're not supposed to be a part of my life. You are my ex-wife. I now have a wife. You have a husband. There is no, we're a part of each other's lives. There's no, just because we shared a marriage means we still have to continue to share something beyond our divorce. No. Zero. Done. Unless you have some sort of important legal document to send to me for the, you know, the purchase, I mean, the selling of our house or whatever that was related to our relationship in the past, that's the only time you should be messaging me. And no more after that. No more about fucking football or stupid fucking app games or whatever. You are my ex-wife. I have a new wife. As the new wife, if you're going to have a husband send messages to his ex-wife saying we should keep in touch and talking about sweet nothings on the fucking thing, that's unacceptable. Okay, I agree with that. I actually thought they had kids, so they have nothing. And, and so, you, you get what I'm saying, Elsie? Like, I agree um, with Bianca. So you come up to him and you come strong, and you go, "What the fuck?" She sent you a message. You didn't tell me about it. It popped in while I was playing your stupid game, and you told I me you apologized. I gave you the chance to fess up and tell me about it, but you didn't. And then it happened again, and you still didn't tell me. So you can't give me reason. You you cannot blame me for thinking this way. The fact that I already know your history with her, that you guys divorced because of cheating. So you can't blame me if I'm going to think that you're actually hiding and something again from me because you've done this before to another right. wife. And if you want to get right, if you're gonna keep in touch with her listen to me uh, i'm gonna fuck her new husband <laughs> okay mm -hmm. <laughs> that's my stand no, send her one is, more facebook message i'm gonna blow her new husband <laughs> one for one that's what i would say and um okay. but then i will wait. blow him on friday our How anniversary I... if you continue to send messages to this girl mm. how do you do this yeah no because um doesn't it like make me the bad guy if he like no. thinks that I snooped on his iPad on his no. message. But no. you weren't deliberately like trying that. to do it. It just popped out. Guy. It just popped out. Well, here's out, my right? thing. Okay, see, here's it's a great debate. I mean, everybody has so many like everybody has a different opinion about this whole thing. The the, the we we had this question on Friday, which is how do you not be a controlling boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife? How do you allow certain freedoms in your relationship? Yeah. How, do you, how do you have that delicate mix of what's mine and what's yours and what's yours alone and what do we share and all that shit? Yes, it's bad to snoop in a Facebook thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's bad. However, you had no intention to snoop on it. Exactly. It had popped up when you were playing a game. And because it was from an ex-wife, 
and you're now the wife, I would say that there's a liberty to be taken there to read it. You have the but right I mean, to fuck. feel that way, yes. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, it's it's snooping, but you left your iPad with me. The message showed up. I'm going to fucking read it. This is, you know, we share a life together now. And if you don't tell me about it, I have, I, I've, I've stamped my passport and the ability to read the next message and the next message after that. It's, is it snooping? Yes. Is it acceptable? Sure. In, in, in the, in these situation, in this specific situation, yes. It's, it's, it's acceptable. You have all the right to look at it and the right to confront him about it. Yeah, and you know what, though? If he really values the sanctity of his loyalty to you, regardless if it's snooping or not, like, yeah, because technically it really wasn't your fault. Like Mo said, it just popped out. So so it's not like you said, I want your iPad because I want to make sure I, if I see something... Or give me you your know password. I mean? Yeah, it just so happened that you had this iPad. So again, it's not your fault and it just happened. But right now, because the, pla the seed is already planted in your head and you know that he lied to you again, you have every right to confront him because if he really has nothing to hide, he will be more than apologetic. He won't get defensive and be like, why the fuck are you looking through my stuff? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's. And he's gonna, but no, no, but he will use that card. I, oh, listen, sure. as a guy, he will. And, and, and he will. Yeah, as as a guy, I'll tell you. The first thing we're gonna do is defend our actions by blaming something on you. Of course, and you've done it. And that, for that's, any that's person, standard. guy or girl, they will do that. Well, yeah. guys, most especially when we get caught, we're gonna look for some reason to fucking make it your fault. Trust me. But if, if he you values if you catch me your fucking relationship girl, so your much, fault. he is going to make sure that he will appease you and make sure that you will come to both a compromise, like uh, like a mutual decision of, of respect where no, nobody gets hurt if he really but values it that okay, much over his what, fucking pride what are we gonna do now is she gonna con is she gonna confront him about this I'm and say what the fuck I already told you you did it again what's the problem we're celebrating our first year anniversary on Friday mm -hmm. I'm really good with if you need to go ahead and rekindle shit with your wife I'm really good and I can go because I'm fine yeah. but I'm staying home I'm doing, you know, you're at work, I'm at home, I'm, you got messages popping up on your fucking iPad all the time from this, from your ex-wife and you're now telling her you want to keep in touch. What the fuck is up? Tell me, what do you want from us now? I think it's not even because that they're messaging to each other. It's bottom line because he's going to say that. What? I can't message with her? Then you can no, say. No, you cannot. She's your ex wife. Yeah, I understand. But I know he'll say that and you can say, you know what? It's one thing that you're messaging with your ex wife. But it's another thing that you're actually keeping. You're lying to me. Again, they're two totally separate things. So it's not just one thing. So How about oh, this? I'm so mad. How about this? Just, just do this. Hey, listen. If you don't mind, you, if you, you want to message with your ex-wife, then you would not mind if I message with other exes. If you're okay with that, then that's fine. If that's the setup you want, then that's fine. Do you think it's okay with her new husband that you guys are keeping in touch at this capacity? If he's okay with it, then let's then fine. But you know what? The chances are someone's not going to be okay with it. For sure. I'm sure her husband is not going to be okay with it. I'm sure your husband is not going to be okay with it if you spent a, a considerable amount of your home time messaging exes. Well, I'm sure it's not going to be fine. I don't really keep in touch yeah with any of them or like no no I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't I mean, really I'm, not asking, I'm not telling you yeah, that you yeah, are okay, but you get yeah. one my point is is it okay then if it's okay <clears throat> that you are messaging with your ex-wife will it be okay with you that I do the same and it, will it be okay with her new husband that you guys are doing this if everybody's going to be okay with it then fine I personally think you should confront him. Do you know why? Because it's just going to eat away at you. You're not, you're going to be, you won't it's have, already you have is, a, yeah. yeah, you're going to have a hard time sleeping. You won't be able to focus on anything else until you get that off your chest. And you're just going to make things worse. And it's just going to build up and build up until by the time you actually confront him, you're so angry that sometimes when you're so angry, nothing comes out straight anymore. You're just so like, you're so like um, bloodshot. You know, you know what I mean? You can't Elsie, be rational you... anymore. So as early as now, I would confront him. And like I said, like most said, it's your wait, fucking you anniversary. You're, yeah, you're not working? You don't have a job? Um, not right now. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to go, to go back to school. 
Yeah. I'd say get a job. You know, start start being a little bit more independent. Yes. I, I I don't like the look where you're at home, he's at work. And he, you know, it's a very old school kind of setup. And sometimes these guys, you know, they just they feel like at times they feel like there's some sort of entitlement there. They that, have okay, entitlement to, to cheating want. because anyway, they're right. putting the food in your mouth, they're, they're paying for yeah. the bills, they're taking care of you, and because and they know that to... you have nowhere to run, that you are dependent on them. For them, it's like they get the hall pass, they get the free card yeah. of I can do what I want. You need me even anyway, if, right? Even if it's a normal like kind of mid level jo- entry level somewhere, just get a job. Go out there and start kind of like showing him that you are in fact a unique independent individual and 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 shit like that no i used to work a- before but uh right now because i need to fix some of my documents before i go back to work we, right, we've talked about enough. it already so right. um right. it's just yeah. a matter of waiting sure that's Look, why yeah we're sorry I really you're do going go through work this i don't want to stay at home yeah, we're, I mean, we're really sorry that you're going through this and it's already, you know, it's Monday, it's a week from your anniversary. I suggest don't waste your time. Do not waste your time because ultimately it is for your happiness. If you do want to save that marriage, that, that relationship, it's all about communication. It's, it might get ugly, but it's all about, uh, you know, talking it out and laying all the cards on the table. Come strong though. Yeah. Come strong. Like when I say come strong, you have to be you have to be confident when you come up to him because he the way this is set up, it sounds like he's gonna kind of Manipulate. weasel his way out of this one. Yeah, yeah, you gotta come you gotta come strong on this one. All right, all right. Thanks for the call. Take okay. care. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Let's go to Jasmine. Right. You're Take welcome. Bye bye. Jasmine, you are teenager from what I recall. Yeah. Eighteen years old. Line six. What's up, baby? Oh um, hi. So hi. I'm one. I'm wondering how I'm I'm gonna be able to move on from my ex. Cut off all ties. Huh? How long has it been? Um, ten months. But then, Ew. like we we broke up like December twenty five, and hey. like Merry after Christmas. after a month, you could just say Christmas. Um, you don't actually say December. He started texting. He started. Oh, he started. So- like. What? I don't get it. They okay, broke up so Christmas. He's, he's- they were dating for ten months, and then he started no, texting no. her again. Wait, we were. We were dating for like six months, and it's been that that was like December, so it's been ten months now. Okay, okay. And now, oh, and you're and, still not over him. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not over him because like January he was like, oh, do you want to meet up? And then when we meet up, he was like, um, we would always have sex, and then and then I felt that he texted me just to have sex with me. Do you get it? Yeah. What a fucking yes. douchebag. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that's know, about right. right? Yeah. And then what the f? What? Yeah, no. <laughs> but he has a girl then. No, baby. He's got a girlfriend. I... Whoa! No, time no. Does he have a girlfriend? After he broke up, it's like a week, and then he had he had he had a new girl. He was cheating on. Okay, you. wait, 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 wait. Time on, time on, time on, time on, time on, time on. Your boyfriend, right? your ex boyfriend, is texting you that yeah. he wants to fuck you, and he's got a girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. He he doesn't say it directly, but then we meet up. Well, of course, I would like to meet up with him because I still like him. Sure. Right? And yeah. then when we meet up, we would always have, like, he would cuddle with me, and then we would have sex afterwards. And then after having sex, he would leave. Yeah, that's, that's what 18-year-olds do, dude. Okay. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what it For is. One, so what's the question, though? What do you want, you, what do you want from us? She said, she, I mean, how, how did she get over how him? How do I move on from him? Stop it's fucking like him. Keep your legs Stop closed. Keep your thong on. Put him. a panty liner. Stuff yourself with a tampon, not penis. Fuck someone else. <laughs> how do I do that? No, what do you mean, how, how do you do fuck do someone that? else? <laughs> Pico, you come yeah. over here. Hey, listen, listen, Jasmine, you're 18 years old. What do we call it? Because then fresh meat. Okay. No, uh, um, dude, listen, uh, fucking Jasmine, first of all, you're, 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 uh, you're introducing whore behavior in your uh, new adult life. Stop yeah. banging other people's boyfriends. He's not your boyfriend. He be- he's, he's now the boyfriend of some other girl, and, and you're fucking him. And not it doesn't matter that, if you guys are ex or anything. It's and not it. only that, if you think that fucking him is going to make him come back to you, it's like that saying, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? I don't yeah. understand that saying. I... I it, I'm just trying to make an anatomy analogy here. I mean, 
obviously the fact that you you already said it yourself he's just meeting up with you because he obviously just wants to have sex with you but the problem is you're okay with it you're saying yes to it so uh, hello? you gotta stop fucking him first jasmine that's where yeah. that's where it starts you yeah. gotta stop fucking this guy I mean, honestly, you have the answer to your problem because you're already aware that he's just using you. So the only way to stop that from him, you're only allowing him to hurt you more. How, how, how is that? He still has a hold on you physically. And once he has that, emo that, that physical hold on you through sex, he has you emotionally. So there's no way you're ever going to fucking move on from this guy. And second, if you do, and let's just say... By a miracle, he wants to get back with you again. Do you really want to be with a guy like that? Because the fact that he had a girlfriend after he after you guys broke up before, I'm sorry. I mean, call me crazy, but I think he was cheating on you because that is too much, too soon, too fast, too, too convenient. You don't want to be with a guy like that, especially at a young age where... I'm sorry, but like like Mo said, you don't want to start early with a skanky behavior, or you you don't want to start. Period. You so know what a hoe bag is? Clothes. A what? Slut bag, hoe bag, slut bag, whatever you want to call it. You, I don't want you to do that right now, yeah. Jasmine. You're way too young, eighteen years old. Come and on, don't ever man. do it. There's no age for it, dude. You, you just yeah, but don't. if there's gonna be an age for it, now's not the one. Yeah. All right. Please, you're gonna you're gonna graduate into fucking people's husbands and then fucking you know rich Chinese businessman. <laughs> it's no. gonna get uglier and uglier. Just please, please, enough of this. Stop fucking him, and you'll see like a miracle. You're gonna get over him. And if you okay? if you really want to escalate this, for example, his girlfriend finds out. Just for example, his girlfriend finds out, and then at this age, people love to spread rumors. They love to talk shit about it's not everybody. A rumor. No, it's I mean, true. They, they love to talk smack about other people. Actually, it happens at all ages, but especially at this age because it's like, whatever, I want to thrash somebody. You don't want that reputation at a young age that you're a whore. And technically, it's just one guy. But the point is, you fuck somebody else's boyfriend. Who cares about the history? The, the point is, you fucked somebody else's boyfriend. It makes you a skank. And you don't want that reputation on you. Who, guys, after this scumbag is going to take you seriously after? They're just going to look at you as fuck. They're not going to look at you as someone I want to take care of and take seriously. And you know what's going to happen? You are going to have so many self-esteem issues shoes and you're just going to end up with the same lousy guy every time because you think that's all you deserve do you want that no exactly so keep that vagina closed jasmine, are you hot are you hot jasmine you're pretty hot right <laughs> what are you pretty hot what yeah are you hot you look yeah Fucking okay then God. act like a prize act yeah. like a prize all right baby oh, you got a photo okay <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Okay, Jasmine, well, she is a well, Disney she, princess, she so act like a fucking princess, I mean, okay? I mean, yeah, I mean, she's already skanky. I might as well get a taste out of that shit. <laughs> oh, no, um, all right, Jasmine, yeah, be, be, listen, love, I care about you. What, what, all that stuff that Bianca said is true. If you want to get over this guy, it starts with have, stop having sex with him. I would actually even love you to level up and tell his girlfriend about him trying to bang you. Don't tell him you yeah. fuck. Don't tell. Don't tell the girlfriend you fuck the guy. Just say he keeps on trying to fuck me. Can you please take control of your boyfriend? Ew, and then leave. Palo okay. let go. Listen, Ew. bitch. Your boyfriend <laughs> is trying to fuck me, and I am like so over this dick. So I'm like, over I, him. I'm, I've already graduated into fucking college students. Okay, so please tell your boyfriend to stop trying to fuck me. Ew. That's it. Okay. All right, baby. You got it. I like that. I like that. Okay, I love it. take I care, love baby. It. Okay, act right. like the prize. Act yeah, like the prize. Masturbate. Yeah, masturbate. I will. Masturbate. I will. Masturbate. I, will. I am. All okay. Right. All right. I believe yeah, that. Anymore. Okay, so take care. Right, yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I have her Ew. photo. I have her photo right now. Right I'm here. so over him. <sighs> what? Ooh, Be LaSalle student. Oh. Eh. 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 You saw her photo? I'm looking at her phone right now. Yeah. 
She you likes guys ballers. are just judges, man. Just stop it. She likes she likes Norbert Torres. Norbert Torres. <laughs> That's her dude. Okay, what's our next call? No. Oh, uh, we gotta take a commercial break and then we'll come back with calls. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. All right, talk to him. we'll talk to Dom coming up next. Uh, he wants to, he needs help on how to break up with his girlfriend. He wants to say the right things. All right, we'll help him out with that one. Say so it's a uh, good time to roll the podcast on this Monday night. Of course, this show brought to you by Globe. Bianca Valerio there. My name is Mo. Phone number four seven eight seven nine five four. Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can text us zero nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. Back after this short commercial break. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. For the scary and sweet is at SM Supermalls. The SM Three Day Sale happens on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. SM Three Day Sale. Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM Three Day Sale. The SM Three Day Sale on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. See posters or print ads for details. Per DTI NCR your permit number 6125, series of 2013. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the with game Chubby Bunny. But um, what's like? Have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth. You say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth. And you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever Let's can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna ba? Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Yeah. Two at a time. Or I'll do two at a time. Okay, gonna ba? What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, no. Okay, no, okay, no.
so she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. All right, back on the show here. Uh, off the air, we're talking about sex scenes in these TV series. We're still talking TV series here yeah. with, with Bianca. Pico and Sh- uh, I'm going to need your opinions here, so get some mic time for, for the both of you here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bianca was saying off air that she can't watch these sex scenes on these TV shows. Um, and they're awesome. These TV show sex, teen, sex scenes are fucking great now. I agree. I want to ask agree. you, what's the hottest sex scene from a major TV series ever? But you realize also in the Philippines, they edit everything out unless you actually Yeah, but we watch this shit it. online. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch these series on normal TV, then you're a loser. People watch this shit online. So you download them, torrents, or you even fucking fuck go to a site that has these, the unedited versions. So where are we at here, Pico? Hottest sex scene on a major TV uh, series? Mm, I think anything that has, has Khaleesi on it. or anything I don't know, though, see? Khaleesi. Uh, okay. Dexter, no. Dexter has good stuff, too. Can't relate. Dude, Hannah McKay oh, in the shit. fucking... Yeah, yeah. The, oh, table. the table. Fuck. One. Where? Who? Fuck. Hannah oh, McKay, uh, fucking uh, Dexter's girlfriend at okay. the end. Season. She was yeah. so incredibly hot and so incredibly naked. Is that the table? One? E- on the I don't table. know. I mean, even all when of, they're of, severely the good-looking people, I, I get awkward. Like, even if I'm watching it by myself, I get shy. That's because you're crazy. It doesn't. Po- uh, yeah, maybe I'm nuts. nuts. I don't know. Like, I actually the get Rita, really shy. The Rita Morgan scenes were pretty hot too. She's hot. I mean, she's kind of an older woman hot, but those were those were excellent. Yeah. Um, but don't get me wrong. Porn is different because you know that when you're watching porn, that's what you're meant to see. But like with movies, with TV shows, I think the only ones that I enjoyed because they're still funny is still sex in the city but there are even some where it's raunchier and even i get uncomfortable and that's already sex in the city so and i mean that's just sex in the city yeah, but, but those bitches are ugly i no, but i'm just saying We're yeah it makes about me hot. awkward i don't know i don't those know bitches what are is. fucking ugly you know uh who, who's this californication have you seen this okay i've seen um, that I've, I've seen some and that's exactly why like you see their boobs jigging up and down and yeah but that, that that's the daughter of uh who, fucking what's timothy robbins and um Susan Sarandon, I think. Dude, she or has Susan giant Sarandon. boobs. Oh, fuck. She's so They're hot. They're full, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Her. Yeah, I, I, rem- I know what scene you're talking about, yeah. Fucking A. <laughs> fuck me. Fucking fuck. That girl's got Speaking big fucking boobs. boobs. Have you ever had sex with someone with fake boobs? Once, twice. Two, three, four. Hello? About twice. I think twice. Twice? What twice? does it feel three like? Times. It doesn't feel nice. It feels kind of. Like- Is it really true that when you lie, they lie down, it's just there? It it's doesn't cool the actually time. part like the Red Sea. It's cool the first time, but then it's like after a couple times, and eh, it's. Eh, I prefer not. Because I felt whatever. some, like I've actually. If you can't see my hand, but I've actually pressed it and I felt it. I mean, they're they're soft, but of course I'm not groping at them, so I'm sure that would feel different. Um, I mean, you're not gonna complain. It's still light. It's still great. But you know, if you if you were gonna, pre- because I'm sure there are a lot of guys and, right now, you know, who are wondering what it's like to feel like you know fake boobs. I mean, they may look good, but the, the, the it's not of that it. big of a difference. I mean, it, it's it's a little bit, but not like astronomical. I, yeah. I, I mean, I don't even want to say it's a bad thing. It's actually kind of it's yeah. nice. It has its it has its advantages and disadvantages. How about that? All right, fair enough. All right, here we go. Let's get to it. Boy, okay, hold on. An- Lesbian Ange is sending me sex scenes from fucking uh, TV shows. Khaleesi with her slave. Um, Jon Snow and... No, the Jon Snow sex scenes suck. Um, the Khaleesi, the first Khaleesi sex scene when she was getting, like, she was losing her virginity by getting doggy style. Was that was that the first... Wait, I, I could be mistaken. Pico, was it the first Khaleesi sex scene when they were by the water yeah, and was, fucking Cal yep. Droger was just... Mm-hmm. Ravaging all over that fucking badge. Yep. Second episode, I think. Second or third one. And that, the, the, and that's where she lost her virginity, like in the water, like out there, in the, yeah. or was that in the bedroom? No, that was the uh, yeah, the first time after the wedding. Awesome. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a pretty badass scene. That Khaleesi one was awesome. Yeah. Okay, Khaleesi, fine. I still like the Hannah McKay though. The Hannah McKay sex scene, but when Dexter was. Okay, there was this movie of Michelle Williams with Ryan Gosling. Something blue. Valentine. blue. There was yeah, a blue. blue Valentine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So there's a scene where he's going down on her. 
Like you don't actually see. But that's a movie. It's different because TV's TV. Like TV, no, no, the, regardless, the, the, the TV. Nudity on television. Like I'm just saying that even that, like I got so awkward. Like you can't even see her vagina, but you know, it's like the thought that I knew that's what he was meant to do. Like the, for the scene, like even that made me uncomfortable. I wasn't there some awesome like Sasha Gray sex scenes in Entourage? I, I don't watch Entourage, but I don't watch. Was it there a couple? I, I honestly, I, I don't get it. It's such a guy show. Anyway, let's move on. We got okay. some calls. We got a lot of calls to take. We don't have a lot of time left here. Let's go to um, who do we have here? Let's go to Dom, who's twenty-two, and let's try to make this one quick because we got a lot of calls. So we don't have a lot of time here. Right. Dom, you're twenty-two, Kazan City. What's up? I don't even have time to play this. Ah! Just a little bit. Okay, <laughs> go, Dom. Yo, Hi. yo, bitch. What's up? <laughs> Yeah. I'm feeling 22. I love oh, it. Oh, you're so yeah, dumb. <laughs> disgusting. 22. All right, though. Like, what yeah. do you got? What do you got? Ah, uh, yeah. Remember me, Mo? The no, I don't. The one who wants to fuck my best friend's girlfriend. As revenge. Uh, Are you the yeah. guy? And, oh, hear him? Okay, sorry. I, and I then, vaguely like, is remember. It, your girlfriend is the one who's like the hottest girl in school and everyone yep. wants to fuck oh, her? Oh, that's him? Okay, yeah. Is that, that you, Tom? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, all right. What's yeah, up? yeah, yeah. You got a super hot girlfriend, and you want to fuck your best friend's hot chinita big tits girlfriend, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got you. All right. What's up, buddy? I already did the end. It was. You just... fucked your best friend. Whoa, 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 dumb, dumb, dumb. Hold on, hold on. You fucked your best friend's girlfriend, the one, the Chinese girl with the big tits. Yep. So you actually fucked Congratulations. her. Congratulations. <laughs> did you come on her face? No. So I Where'd you come? Kenya. <laughs> nice. That's quite I don't love it. Yeah, alright. I'm all sorry, right. you didn't last very long, huh? Hi, hey, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, he still kudos came. for you for admitting hey. it. Good for well, listen, you. Listen, he still came, right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> listen, if you last if you last thirty minutes or three minutes, it doesn't matter. You still come. It's still awesome. I <laughs> still had sex with her. <laughs> yeah, in the end, right? Wait, so did your girlfriend right. find out? No. Uh in day. But I want to break up with her now. So, and yeah, I don't this know. Is, this is the same girl that's making Lande your friend, right? Yes. Just break up with her. Stop being a fucking puss. No, because you know the awa factor. Oh, I'm sorry. You, the girl that almost slept with your break, best breaking friend. Breaking up with your girlfriend because you actually don't want to break her heart. But you'll fuck another girl. Yeah, Healthy hey, makes sense of that. <laughs> Bianca, it makes sense. Guys do that all the time. They'll fuck chicks all the time, but have you know they'll feel bad about breaking up with the girlfriend. Oh, it's normal. God. Dom, yep. your girlfriend is Malande. Just break up with her, please. And then no, the, if she does the awa factor, just say, hey, why don't you make awa to that guy over there that you were holding his hand when we were in another class? Please. I texted her. I'm not even texting her na. So yun, she kept on texting me. And itong text niya na to na, ito ah, I love you so much, I failed to keep you. And it hurts. Yun yung parang, parang tumama sa akin ng shit sobra. What are you? Stop being a fucking She person, said, please. I failed to How keep that? you and that hurts and that hit you hard? Yeah. How does that hit you hard, you fucking wuss? I, I don't know. Kasi, you know. Because it's like she's admitting that she was wrong and she should have fought harder. She should she put she shouldn't have done the things to hurt you. And it she was appealing to the goodness of your heart. That's what she was doing. Why do you want to break up with her, Dom? She's super hot. Ah, uh, eh, kasi alam mo yun. Lagi na kami, lagi kami nag-aaway and wala na. As in every every this? every night, kasi tuwing umaga okay kami. Then Sa gabi, pag magkikita kami, yan. Away uh, ng super fucked up. What do you guys okay. fight about? I'm just so curious. The, just just wondering. Uh, so, madami. Sobrang liit, liliit na bagay. Meaning, na, okay, really I don't, I don't stupid care. fight. Listen, look, look, I want to speed this up because we have a, we have a yeah. sex tape with fingering call coming up and I, I'd rather talk to that one here. <laughs> Dom. <laughs> sorry, Dom. You understand, right? Dom, right. listen. Bun. Bun. Okay. You can be honest with your girlfriend and say, listen, we fight too much. And if I have to be honest, I had sex with another girl. 
I, and I really feel bad about it. And I think, you know, breaking up is best for us because it just shows that our relationship is rather rocky. I made a mistake. I apologize. I broke your trust, whatever. But I, I, I did care about you before. It's just all of this fighting has taken its toll. And I happen to f- fuck this tasty Chinita uh, girl with, 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 with big tits. See, the only uh, thing sorry. is the reason why you don't have the heart to break up with her is. Is it because you actually still want to be friends with her after this? Because if you don't, it doesn't matter what you say. You can no. He doesn't. No, but he doesn't want. He doesn't want the girl to cry because of something he did. Oh, I mean, he, yeah, he no. feels. He's yeah. gonna feel bad. That, that's Please. that's another standard guy thing. You don't want to see this girl destroyed because of you. No, but also, it's a little narcissistic, Dom. It's a little narcissistic to think that her life is going to be ruined because you're not going to be a part of it. You're already a little bit of a douchebag, like just kind of generally already. And it's yes. cool. I mean, we could, you and I could still be friends. It's fine. But you're a little bit of a douchebag. And the douchebag then tends to grow into narcissism. And when you're narcissistic, you're like, oh, if I leave this girl, she's going to be destroyed. Well, in fact, the girl is super hot. There's probably guys knocking on her door constantly trying to get a taste of that ass. And if you leave her, she's just going to move on to the next one. Yeah, she's going to text you some sort of kind of emotional bullshit. But what she sent you, she's hardly destroyed. That, that, that's a, that, that sounded like a template text. Something that you have already lined up to send someone when you end the relationship. I super that is, agree. That had nothing. That I she did not sound agree. destroyed at all. I feel like she just sent that because usually that's something someone would message. Yeah, that's when what you're supposed to end. say. Yeah. Right. At least it doesn't but make her not... sound like a heartless bitch. Right. And she's not heartbroken in the capacity that you think she's heartbroken. And that's because you're a little bit of a narcissist. You actually think you're hot shit. And you probably are because you fucked both these chicks all in the same week. And, you know, I'll give you a high five for that. <laughs> but to be realistic, she's not as distraught as you think she is. I mean, she may be a little sad, but her world has not crashed down because of you. Right. She's incredibly hot. She's fine. Yeah. And you you were the one that said she's And I think his ego can't take that. I think he actually doesn't want her to move on. He doesn't want to be with her, but he doesn't want her to move on. You fuck her. Because he's a narcissist. No, he is what he is. (laughs) Yeah, that made that made me uh, yeah, makes you realize. I realize, ko nga. Yeah. Galing. All right. Oh, yeah. Ama. Yeah. Well, well, you're you're welcome, Dom. All right. All right, Dom. And then listen, that Dom, that name of yours is gonna stand for D O M down the line when you're a little oh, older. Oh God. You narcissist fuckers. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying. Yeah, go. Ani yung ano yung dubstep na dun sa intro mo? Skrill. Oh, uh, of oh, this song of the, of this show. Yeah. What's your bed? No, no, that's not dubstep. That's um, that's madness by Muse. Do you mean this one? Hold on one second. Uh, fuck. L- l- let me get it here. Your bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't find it right now. Oh, here, this one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, that's not dubstep, dude. That's that's madness. It's oh. the song's called Madness by Muse. G- great fucking song. Ma 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 ma. Goes like uh, high power pag naririnig ko yan. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, it's okay. Listen, you should have you're sex not a while listening to it. <laughs> now, douchebags, see, douchebags don't like that song. That's a good song. Douchebags like this song, for example. Oh my god, I love this song. If a guy wrote this song to me, you this are is a douchebag song. Cinema, I could watch you forever. Douchebag song. It's to, one of the most beautiful songs Skrillex. ever written. It's a good. It's it's a little douchebag. Hold on, I, I gotta get to the douchebag part though. Hold on. Sing along, Bianca. Later on. Yeah. Hurry up, Skrillex. Jesus. All right, here's the douchebag part right here. This is where guys like Dom's like, yeah. I love this song. I love Dom Trap. I love how stupid. What are you saying? It's got a mix of romantic with. That's a douchebag song. It's an ang. No, it's like romantic. It's kind of like you're making love and then you're fucking at, at the chorus. At that. Here's another whatever you fucking douchebag song right here, too. 
You know this one, yeah? Bianca? What song is this? This is Skrillex also. This is how you do Shrek songs, though. Scary monsters and nice... Yes, uh, yes, I do. I love house music. It's so happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happy but angry, but still happy. I'm not surprised. All right, Tom. <laughs> Madness by Muse. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yun nga, na-hype ako pag naririnig ko yun. Tapos sinesearch ko siya sa Google na intro sa intro of GTWM podcast. Tayo na hindi ko ma- ma-hype. <laughs> <laughs> Madness by Scream. Here's the other one we use a lot. This is in the commercial breaks. This one, this is awesome. This is Lollipop by, um... Pico, who's this by Lollipop by fucking, um... Uh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, there you go. Yeah, this is a good one too right here. You know the one I really like now, though? We're speaking instrumentals. Yeah. Radioactive by uh, Imagine Dragons. You listen to the Radioactive minus one. Fucking awesome. Yeah, it's well. a good it's song. It's a really good one. It's yeah. a really good song, yeah. But the, the song is great, but the instrumental is fucking superb. I Love. think Benny Benassi is pretty awesome with cinema. It was so good. Yeah. I think the reason why I love, I admit, and people may hate me for this, I'm not a big fan of hip hop music. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it either. I don't like it because it it's so violent. It's like I want to fuck your mom. I'm gonna kill your house or I'm gonna whatever. Fuck your big tit, oh, whatever, Janita girlfriend. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. for me, it's why? Why do you want to fuck my mom? I mean, I don't get it. Like, how is this making life better? I love house music because all they want is good vibes. All they want is happiness. You're spreading joy to the world. It's like a really cool <laughs> Christmas carol. Fuck your mama. Fuck your mom. Stay yeah. Yeah, and then like that, it's time. like other song that I'm yeah, gonna gotcha. make you pregnant. What's that word? Yeah, yeah that's right. What's yeah, that? I'm gonna Kelly. fuck you in the yeah. kitchen. Like, come girl on, the club man. Unbelievable. Yeah. Girl, you make me wanna do it. So wrong. We were chipping. So wrong. Then we had sex in the kitchen. Exactly. Fuck your so mother. Wrong. Fuck your mom. But house music. And your sister. You're all about like your, happiness. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Wait, your driver You don't too. even need to know how to dance and do like this. You just do this and it's all good. There you go. Yeah. Right. Right. Don't get out of here. Have a good life. Enjoy. Yeah. Call us back when something else happens in your life oh and that's uh, worthwhile. Thanks, Dom. You're the best. All right. Thank you. Good Bye-bye. luck and keep a condom on. All right. Just saying. Okay. What time do? Oh, we only have time. Uh, mm-hmm. We have time for. Can we squeeze two calls? Can we make this as fast as possible? I imagine doing a kegel when you said, "Can you squeeze in two calls?" All right, how about one call? Can we do uh, Mac, the fifteen-year-old in Naga, who's got uh, what's the, the what's the, the video with video? the fingering? What is that? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Can you up. get Mac up, please? She's up. We gotta talk to this guy. She's up, Mac. Oh, hi, Mac. Yes. Hi. 15 Hi. years old and you have fingering videos already. Oh, I love it. Okay. I don't. You're from Naga City. How can we help you? Uh, okay. So uh, last week I found out of uh, a girl um, in my lower class who has a video of her finger. Actually, it wasn't a uh, finger, but she was uh, just rubbing herself. So uh, last yeah. weekend, me and my friend went out and we hung out with his um, little brother. So... This little brother of him has a girlfriend, and that turns out to be the girl that is rubbing herself. And I told him whoa, that... Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Can you say it again? I, wait she's a minute. She's like, she's, uh, it's a little All right, here's mumble? what it is. Okay. All right, she's got a friend, right? Okay. Okay, first of all, they, they saw a girl fingering herself video, right? Okay. Her friend's little brother, that's his girlfriend. Oh, shit. Okay, but... If she's 15 and it's her friend's little, little brother, brother, how old is this fingering tape? Oh, God. Mac, how old's the girl in the video? Just say, uh, I'm sorry, what? How old is how, the girl, how old is in, the the girl in the video? Uh, I think she's uh, 13 or 14. I forgot. Oh, oh, man. This call was supposed to be fun and then fucking our child pornography. Oh, my. Oh, man. My how old is your daughter, away. Mo? I'm She's sorry. 14. Oh my god, I don't even want to say how old my daughter is, but oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck. Why? I we were chipping, just <laughs> and we had sex <laughs> in the kitchen, in the shower, 
in my bed, yeah, on the couch. I have a sex finger video on the internet. Oh, 13 years old. Are their hands even big enough to do the task? I mean, you got to wonder. I'm bro- I am broken up by this call. It was like you said, it was supposed to be funny, but now that you're giving the age, it just breaks my heart. Yeah. I was like I was really excited about this call. Let's oh. put Dom back on. Oh. <laughs> Um, no, hey, come on. Let's help her out. All right, right, Mac. Okay, okay, so Mac, ugh, fuck, 13-year-old sex tape. What are we going to do here? So it's not the, the problem is not even how young this girl is. The problem is that the girl who did the fingering video is the girlfriend of her friend. Yeah. Girlfriend of my friend's little brother. Okay, so what's your question for us? Yeah. So because my friend's kind of worried um, how he could be uh, a nice brother, but not really nice, but he of course, uh, his uh, my friend wants his brother a uh, nice or decent girl, I guess. That's why. Oh, he's concerned, okay, that he doesn't yeah. want the brother to be dating girls <sighs> like that. Yeah. Amen, sister. Amen. I'm all for yeah. it. All right. Well, what um, are we going to do? So, yeah. Um, what are we going to do? I'm sorry. I just show it. No, first I'd, I would appeal... They're teenagers. I would just talk to them first. I'd, I'd actually tell them, like, why do you like this girl? You know, like, be cool, casual about why do you like this girl? Like, have you guys had sex? I mean, just be all, like, do you trust her? Like, what do you think of her? Like, ask questions like, do you think she's wild? Do you think she's more conservative? Things like that. Like, try to get a feel of how much Come he on. thinks he knows this girl that, that he's dating, right? Because for all you know, again, for all you know, that... I hate to say this, but for all you know, he might even like stuff like that. So you all have to establish first if this boy actually knows this girl to this kind of level. Do you know what I mean? I would just say this. I, w- I would say this. And then I- show I the would, video. And I would be tell like, your friend yeah. to say, hey, listen, everybody knows that this girl's got a fucking video out there. She's 13 years old. This shit, like, you don't want to be a part of this. It, it's... It's illegal. Child pornography are very, very serious laws regarding it. And they are fucking, um, I think they're laws that like have, what's this, uh, the jurisdiction thing? What's the thing when they grab you from one country, extraditable offense? These are serious, serious shit. Now, I mean, your brother's not going to get, his little brother's not going to get arrested or anything like that. But if he starts, I mean, if he starts, getting caught with that shit on his laptop and all of these things. You're talking about big, big problems. Huge problems. You have to think about the age of the boy that you're talking to. Like, is he going to listen to shit like that? Do you no, know but what that, I mean? Uh, we, don't, we don't know. But the, the, that's how I'm going to say it. I'm going to say, hey, listen, there's a yeah. lot of bad news that's, that's kind of that's um, associated with this situation you're in with this relationship you're in it's bad news and if i were you i would seriously not get involved in this because there are some laws of child pornography that are so strict international laws that are so strict about it it you'll get you'll get fucked up and, and get caught into some shit so if i were you i would really would not pursue this anymore yeah, because you, I'm also just trying to think of the typical rebellious teenager who thinks they know it all, who thinks they are such badasses and they got everything locked down. And he's going to think, oh, I know this. Like, who are you to fucking tell me? Do, do you know what I mean? Whether or not they're scared, of course, what they're going to show their friends is that they're not, that they're tough. I'm, I'm just trying to think about that, the psychology behind a teenager. So what would be the best approach to, do, do you know, like talk to them like in a non-threatening way. So it kind of makes their guard go down and they're more open to listening to you. I, it's a I, masturbation tape. Sorry, um, Mac, it's a masturbation tape. Just just her in front of a camera. Just her. Just her, yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. Well, because sometimes at that age you really think that you know a lot of things so when a person is trying to tell you what to do you you tend to rebel against them even if you is the video on the internet like how how did you see the video it's not on the internet Uh, my my other friend uh, told me about this story and then he showed me like so you saw it yeah the girl the girl doesn't know that her videos um 
Like you can uh, actually see her face. It's not just her vagina. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. And, and who is she fact. addressing on the tape? Is she addressing like someone on Skype? No she... one. That, that's why. That's why I'm curious why she did it. She was like, "Hi, hey, I'm named," and she pointed it on her vagina and stuff. Oh my god. That's it. Because I was yeah. thinking, what if she was sending it to her that little brother? But the fact that no, she said, hi, my name is so-and-so. Like, oh, my God, that is nasty. Yeah, I, I'm worried that, yeah, that, that, there's a lot of problems here. And, and I, I, th oh, wait, this, no. does, the, does the little brother know that the tape exists? No, that's it, no. Like, only a few, uh, not really a few, maybe, maybe a lot, but the girl doesn't know, the little brother doesn't know. I think you have to tell him. Dude, uh, this is she, really I don't know, serious. Though. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is I, serious. I, 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 I don't know, man. Ma Mag, uh, rarely do I come across a question here where I'm like, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> you also, this one is just so serious. Yeah, that because like this, this, this little brother. Let's just say, I, I, I can't. Let's say his name is John. Okay, little brother is John. You also little have John. to take into account what Another kind of Wayne. boy he is. Is he the type where he's, you know, a bit of a dork in school that got the pretty girl and he's just so happy to be with someone who's wilder than him? Or is he the type where he's actually a looker and, and, and he thinks like he's, he's the cool guy? I mean, I, I, I think that's all that's irrelevant, though. I, I, at this point, I really just think your brother talk. I mean, you, you have to assess what's the relationship like between the 15 year old brother and the 13 year old brother? Is he really cool, young Kuya, where he can give this kind of advice and the 13 year old will absorb it? And if he is, then you tell him. You don't have to show him the tape. I, actually, don't show that's him the, the tape. That's the last resort. Yeah. I actually no, did it. It's no resort. You just tell him maybe that it, the last resort is maybe telling him that a tape exists. But you know he's going to look for it. You know yeah, he's going to do it for sure. I would yeah. just oh, no. if he's the cool yeah and there's a relationship there where he listens to him, I would say hey, listen. Um I I really don't think this girl's good for you. There's some things that I heard and I saw her do. She didn't cheat on you. She didn't fuck you over, but I saw her get involved in some really bad things and I worry that, you know, you might get involved in these bad things as well. I, I really think that that's the extent of the conversation. And if they have a relationship now where it's a healthy brother kuya, you know, yeah. type of relationship, he'll be able to kind of absorb that and act accordingly. But it, it, it has to go with, she didn't do anything bad to you, but I saw her get involved in some stuff that I don't want you to be around. Yes. And it might not be very legal. I, I, I mean... Of course, it's not legal at all, but you and don't want to scare the shit out of them. Just you. say, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's there's like a legality there, and I don't want you to get in trouble. And you will get in trouble if some shit like this happens to you. So, you know, that's hopefully he'll listen to it. Yeah, you just okay? have to be prepared that for sure he's going to be looking for this this thing that that people are talking about. And your so. friend has to come genuine. He can't do like you, dude, bro. Listen, bro, this chicks, you chicks more, bro. But you know, it can't Suddenly, be that. Suddenly, Ash's boyfriend be, is the guy yeah. talking to him. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's dumb. It's like, dude, but oh, yeah. it's like talking about it. It, it has to be like genuine, <laughs> family concerned kind of attack on this. All right. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Oh wait, I All have right. one more question though. Uh, Fire away. Should should the girl know that her video is uh, no. around? Like Oof. no. Uh, should she be aware of it? That's a good I don't question. Know, man. How many people do you think know about it? Okay, my class maybe half of the guys um, and a little of the girls. Yeah. Oh fuck. That's but a lot. That's just in my I, class. If she actually would, okay, sent see, this out, remind... then she would know it's she, out she there. Didn't she send just... it out. She didn't send it out. Like it was on her laptop. Then a friend of her went I didn't know if um her friend or his friend went through um her files, but I forgot the story. And but stumbled someone through. Someone got it. it. Well, well, listen, listen, was... regardless, whatever. We gotta go because we're running out of time here. I'm ready I'm already getting the red flag from uh from the lesbian okay, okay, okay. people. Uh we if I were you, I would go to each and every one of them and remind them of the severe punishment that waits for them for the possession of child pornography. It is not a joke. It's not some shit that only is taken care of at a barangay level. You're talking about an international scale of laws being broken. If you remind that you remind them of these things, that this is not a Chito Miranda sex tape. It's not a Wally sex tape. This is extremely illegal hopefully we can see that tape kind of disappear a little bit 
like remind them if you get caught in possession of these things you will be in trouble if it's in your family laptop guess who goes to jail your father i mean it becomes an extremely serious situation so when you have 13 year old sex man. tapes on your hard drive okay yeah. you go away okay. and you go away for a really long time and when i say go away you go to jail for a really long time and you get ass raped <laughs> yeah, when you're there so you have to remind everybody that you know who knows about it to tell them that how serious this thing is, okay? And hopefully that threat, that fear will will kind of subside yes. the whole spread of this tape. All right? Yeah. All right you're a good person. Enjoy, so make yeah, sure good. that you know you try and do a good thing. So good luck with that. If somebody sent me a fucking thirteen year old sex tape on my thing and I accidentally I'd be like, oh fuck, I would burn my computer. It's a, it's a huge, I'm huge, looking at it huge, as like, I'm the parent like, of that girl. It's like, wow, what did I do as a parent that I would make my kid think that that was okay? You know, I mean, I'm just... I think it's technology. This one, we, this one we blame on technology. I mean, like, I think... I mean, shit, if I'm 13 years old, I'm 14 years old, fuck yeah, I'm masturbating as a boy. But see, the problem is now I'm tempted because I'm now masturbating and the I can waka see my waka dick on The of, like, Shakira on, 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 on video. We gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, we gotta go. Take a break. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. For the scary and sweet is at SM Supermalls. The SM Three Day Sale happens on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. SM Three Day Sale. Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM Three Day Sale. The SM Three Day Sale on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. See posters or print ads for details. For details, answer your permit number 6125, series of 2013. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. We got to dedicate one of our episodes in the next week or two to fantasy drafting. Just one episode to complete fantasy drafting. Yeah, I draft. was just asking, like, what does fantasy football mean? Like, I don't get basketball. it. I, I, oh, basketball. Or fantasy basketball. Like, 
I've seen that they're on t- they're I've seen in movies where they gather in some person's house and they're all piece of paper and then they're all writing down like who's play but they're not actually playing. Like I I, I don't. Yeah, uh, no, they are playing. It, it's it's. We, we, listen, we got, we had no time for this, but okay, let's yeah. dedicate an episode, maybe in a week or sure. a week and a half, to yeah. fantasy drafting. Okay. Like taking calls about fantasy drafts and all that stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, caller of the night tonight, it will be Sophia, the one who wants uh, more sexual positions aside, of the, aside from doggy style. We enjoyed her. Yes, Bianca? Yes, we cool. did. And she obviously we gotta get enjoys here. sex. Yeah. We are so late. So, hey, I, I want to remind everyone uh, to celebrate the Cebu Press Freedom Week. Globe Telecom awarded media practitioners who brought social media issues uh, to public through their chosen medium. So recognized media practitioners who received the awards were Ador Mayol, uh, Aris Gutierrez, Steven Capillas, uh, Bensi Lorin, May- Mayet Tabada, Jerry Ann Lim, Michael Acevedo um, Lopez, uh, Ampre Campaña, Alan Domingo, Albert Abalie. Astra Zina Zagarta, uh, Aida Tampos, Nancy Kudis, and Bjornsson Bernales. So like our winners, let's challenge ourselves to write, speak, and be heard for the public good. I want to thank all the callers who called in the program. For the ones that didn't get on the show, please do call back tomorrow. We apologize, but we'll definitely have you tomorrow if you can. Um, for Bianca, the staff, uh, the people uh, in the chat room, my name is Mo. This has been Good Times Mo the podcast. Season 2 brought to you by Globe. Have a great evening. Thanks, Bianca. I'll see you tomorrow. Love. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.